Welcome to Starfinder The Fragments of Eternity, Session 41. I am Ryan, the GM. It's the 4th of February, somehow already, 2020. Here are the players. Hello. I'm Nico. And I'm Poinzora, the best captain. Greetings. I'm Alex, and I will be playing Nix5, the android mechanic. Hello. I am Colin. And I... We'll be playing like O'Quinn. The uh, uh well. <laughs> the uh, the guy. Hi there, I'm Callum, and I'll be playing Zig the Brad. That and that and stuff with things. I'm sorry, I I, I, I to be interrupted. Yeah, you know. I had I had an spooky. image in my head. I was like, oh my god, it's going to be like a normal introduction. No, uh, why would it be a normal introduction? Uh, measured, steady pace. Uh, I don't understand why you felt the need to talk over me. And you, I'm always feeling it's your going so it's just well. the first time that I've uh, <laughs> just the first time I've acted upon those feelings. It was going so well. <laughs> Sorry, continue, Colin. I do apologize. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'd like to take this moment to say wheel done to Noam Dar, who is now ICW World Champion. Uh, wheel done. I, wheel done. Yes, wheel done. Mm -hmm. uh, because he is a good ear. <laughs> wheel done. As well. um, Nothing could possibly like go wrong with this intro. The language of Burns. Anyway, congratulations to Supernova Eleven. Hi, I'm Callum, and I'll be playing. Hi, Callum. Hi, how are you, Colin? Yeah, I'm good. Nice, to, nice to speak to you. I haven't, I haven't seen you in, in a while. Um, I'll be playing Zig. The and I'm Ryan, the GM. I'll play everyone else. I thank you. <laughs> <laughs> See that wasn't so, so bad. To this fucking idiot interrupt. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful fucking idiot. Right. Callum, do your do your intro. Also, shut I've the fuck up, intro, everybody else. Fine. I've done it like four <laughs> times. <laughs> Hi, I'm Callum. I'm playing Zig, the mystical space rap from the sun. Love, lovable, unlovable. I don't know. Take your pick. Okay. Nuclear warhead. Yeah. Tank girl. There we are. We're out. We're caught up. <laughs> so. Hot take. Tank girl is hot. Yeah. Agreed. There you go. Yeah. Meanwhile, let us discuss what happened last time on The Fragments of Eternity. Zig interrupts. Was that me to talk about what happened last time? Yeah, go for it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Do I actually can't remember what happened last time at all? Well, we'll just wait. Dun, dun, dun. Chat. Dun, dun, dun. Mainly, <laughs> <laughs> it was just a lot of conversation. I mean, I'm gonna of, I'm gonna of... break this to you in 41 sessions. In RP is actually mostly just conversation. Really? <laughs> I, I don't know. Girl Supreme. <laughs> mostly, mostly talked um, and rolled dice, and you know, um. What did you talk about? Oh, I gave I gave um um the the, the, the queen my my little my little um picture of the of the of uh, the Yasoko the, Yiso the I gave the queen this picture that Zig had of a Yasoki silhouetted by the sun, which means quite a lot to him. And the queen was like, "Ooh, this is the price that I must." Uh, that's what she's thinking, not what she's saying. This yeah, is the price. That's her thinking voice. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's how she. That's how she's. Been. After ten thousand years, <laughs> finally the missing piece. I'm finally free. <laughs> Shout out to yeah. Rita. So we saw we saw we saw a big yeah. big old big old dragon skeleton. Uh, Goldar. Of I'm course. doing this in reverse order now. Um, yeah. yeah take because it, we're like, oh heck, what what do we do to you know kill kill a dragon? I was like, well, you know. Why don't you go make some dragon weapons out of dragons? I was like, ooh. Um, so she showed us that, and she was like, ah. And then we kept trying to give her stuff, and she was like, no, this is a piece of shit. Um, I mean, you didn't really try like, and give her stuff. You literally all looked at each other and was like, so uh, what do you want? Um, so on that note, before we move swiftly away from whatever this disaster recap is, I am... Um, Colin. Apologies. Now, I know yes. I gave you that goal, right? And we said it was complete. But I wanted to take a minute to sit right there 
and tell you about how goals should work and really for you to claim fully the fine means we would to have, have killed him and know that no 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 I mean this by the sense that you need to speak to Zig to conclude that right oh. because Zig did your goal for you really you know because when she was like cool what you give me for my stuff and you, you kind of were like MD got anything? MD? No. So I feel like there definitely needs to be a conversation between Lyco and Zig regarding the, you know, thanks for kind of doing that thing I wished to pursue in character. Do you get what I mean? Okay. Because that's why you have individual goals. I am. I'm not taking it back from the completed list though. I was happy for it to move over there. But yeah, I mean, it is it is shared, right? It's not like I'm going to level up and other people aren't. No, well, the, the results of the goal are shared, 100%. Yeah, but I just mean the pursue, the pursuit, I should say, of the goal. Um, you chose to pursue that goal. It's not like, let's have four slots for the party. See what I mean? Does that make sense? Yeah. Cool, cool. Zig, did that make sense to you? Yes. Yes, no, I did. Sorry. Oh dear. <laughs> um, I'm glad to see our Be Gay Do Crimes chat is growing. Um, I think eventually it's going to be the intro to I'm a Scatman, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> From the looks of things. Um, yeah. Uh, right, what else happened last time? Uh, a lot of lore bombs about Vesk stuff. Mm hmm. Um, it was obviously a dragon bones, and speaking about how the dragon bones might be a relative of Hamani. Yeah, most likely, it is most likely, like some kind of matriarchal figure in his life. Yeah, we I think we're finishing possibly. We also kind of got a bit of a well. Not revelation, because I feel like we had hints. Like I think we had reason to believe that she did here previously. Like the initial, the end of that first session, I definitely get the feeling that she sort of was pointedly not addressing it. But we did get confirmation at the very least that she was able to hear, as we were the thoughts of others. Ah, uh, the telepathy. To the thing. Yes. Yes. Yeah. She Due was to the thing he says yeah. vaguely. She was pretty much aware of everything that was thought. Yes, but she was polite enough to not react to any of it as best she could. <laughs> because, you know, it's rude. You're humans. What is this? Other other people? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Roll a character. Um, You're humans. Mm. Um, on that note, then, anything else that I'm missing? Am I missing anything else? I think that was the majority of it, right? Some chat, uh, some uh, some lore about some Vesk, and then the kind of wander into the deep, deep, dark basement slash fighting coliseum. So yeah, I think that was it. Yes. I uh, okay. Goals mm -hmm. then. Goals. Let's start from the bottom and work our way up. Zig, tell us Hi. <laughs> My goal is... Well, and, and confront Captain about rolling crew, um, which is broken up into thingy goals for me to visualise that better. Okay. So, from what I can I see, it doesn't go through say that, because your goal says prove to Zig that he is not useless ah, and yes. crew needs him. No, it's... <laughs> the... <laughs> right, okay, hold on. <laughs> Do some rejigging. Okay. Oh no, I fucked it. Do you know what? Doesn't matter. <laughs> um, yeah, but that's 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 Zig's first little mini goal to achieve his goal is to prove to himself that he's not useless in the crew. He's made steps towards that. Um, I mean, I could, it could it would just be easy to go. Oh yes, now Zig believes this, but he. The yeah. thing is, as well, I don't actually think any of other players. Th I don't think their characters think Zig would be useless either. You know that way. No, exactly. Yeah. yeah. 
So it really is proving to yourself that you're not useless, which is an interesting kind of way to kind of go about that goal. Um, yes. I'm eager to see um, how that plays so, out. Yeah, so he's, he's made some good progress there, but we'll see mm. how it goes. Happy to stick with it, yeah? I'm happy to stick with it, yeah. I had a dream about it uh, last night, actually, but yeah. anyway, carry on. Do you want to tell us about it? Uh, no. <laughs> it, was, it was one of those dreams. It was, uh, it was a little, it was a little, you know, oof. Oh, I know, I know. <clears throat> um, right, Lyco, we need a goal for yeah! you. That is a good point, we do. And uh, I know I said that I would think about it, but I didn't really because... I've had other things in my mind. Um, uh, and I, I'll be honest, I really don't know as we stand here. Stand? I, I've been personally sitting, but you may be standing. Um, as we sit here tonight, I'm not sure. Someone's uh, volunteered a uh, goal for me, which was really quite nice of them. Uh, sexy bring back less than three. Um, and, you know, I think if we can find a way to word that into English, I, I think we're, we're on to a winner. But... Um, <laughs> uh, I, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure at the moment. I'm open to suggestions. If if anyone else is <coughs> uh, not good, then I confront Zig Abu. Help me with your last call. <laughs> confront <laughs> Zig. You don't get to make uh, a goal about actually completing hey, the last yeah. goal. <laughs> I mean, I like the way you think, but I no, do I, yeah. too. Because if I was a player, I would bullshit that alongside Nico. <laughs> it's all about the game, right, and how you play it. Yep, got to think um, about the scoreboard. I, I think. Good. I think that we've got like. Sorry, I have to yawn because I'm tired. <laughs> Let me just explain that one for you. Now, I think we've got like. A handful of big overarching goals at the moment, right? Nothing that we can address right at this particular second, but that we need to address. Um, we have Burgalas. Mm -hmm. okay. We have Hamani. Mm -hmm. And we have the Viscarium nonsense. Mm -hmm. um, so the question is, which does Lyco prioritize? I'm not sure. I'll be honest with you. Because I feel like Hamani has been forefront in his mind because of, well, you know, recency bias. Yeah. That was the latest big thing, so that's what he's focused on. But with a bit of time and distance and having had a chance to sort of get into a position and prepare themselves a little, is that going to seem as immediate? Is perhaps the situation with their glass is going to seem more immediate. I, I suspect that's one that's kind of in the long grass. Um, but I'm really not sure. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess so it's I, just I, like, it, what's, like, so in Lyco's head, then, if we all just take a, a small trip into Lyco's head, the things... Like yeah, that. we've got, so we've got, as you mentioned, Urgolas, we've got Hamani, we've got... The fact that you've got a pile of dragon bones that's kind of been bequeathed to you now, uh, thanks to Zig. And okay. you've got, as you said, the nonsense with the Viscarium. Mm -hmm. You've also got, like, MIA Edgar Wesland. True, sure. yeah. Um, you've got the Aspis Consortium and the Emma O. Diner situation. Yeah, that's true. You've got Ivan. Although I thought we were just going to write up a report on the diner, which basically said it wasn't us. <laughs> okay, Shaggy. Because it, <laughs> it wasn't me, for one thing. So, as yeah. far as I'm concerned. I mean, to be fair, it was mostly Alice. Um, it was. Yeah. So there's that. I think what else is in play? Obviously, Ivan's left at the garage, maybe. Um, the 11th hour is on yeah, versus... True alongside mostly probably Ivan and the final hour is an orbit of verses assuming Alice never took it anywhere um, yeah Finn uh, has probably had to deal with Alice for conversation so that's fun um, Matva obviously wants yeah I'll just check back in at some point Zora to check in on a what Demogesh is up to you are kind of going to be reporting surveillance into uh, Babak 
Commander Brabak. Um, yeah. For I'm so impressed I got his name without looking at my notes. Um, Commander Brabak. Uh, for Demogesh as well. So yes, you've got indeed. a nice crossover with Zora in that front, which mm. is good. Um, I don't know what else is in play, actually. Obviously, a lot more stuff's the weirder stuff that lies directly with Zig, the timeline, and then the fucking apotheosis existentialism of Nyx. So, yeah. So, I don't know. Like, what's Lyco's immediate, like, priority? Just to, well, That's like, the question. <laughs> and that's what I'm sort of struggling over because. I don't know if it necessarily should be. Oh, sorry. I don't know if it might perhaps make more sense to deal with the ongoing Vesk issue, perhaps simply from the perspective of we've kind of got all our stuff there. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we're kind of bound to it. And also, you know, perhaps it'd be better to strike while the iron is hot, as it were, to move before things start to unfold on their own. And we come back from dragon hunting to find that there's an invasion or a civil war or a civil war invasion or mm-hmm. whatever. Civasion. Mm-hmm. Civasion. Uh, or <laughs> there's a nation. Um, or, or whatever may come of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm. I don't know, like, what about everything else then, I'm right? So, what. Difficulty. Like, if we take Nico, Alex, and. Callum's opinions of how mm. Colin has played Lyco. What are your thoughts that should be Lyco's priority? Uh, oh, I know, right? Boom. I know that is a, a tough one. <clears throat> I'm not sure what my priority is. After I, I never asked what Zora's priority is, Nico. Stay on target. <laughs> Zora, it always has to be about you. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be the captain, I want to be the space celebrity, I want to be the Vesk, I want to be the fucking Vesk god emperor. God damn it, Nico. (laughs) (laughs) The spotlight's big enough for everybody, okay? (laughs) Um, But yeah, so Nico, what do you think Lyco's part is? Or should be? Yeah, I think that may be. Because it's not so much what Zora thinks Lyco's part should be. I want to know what Nico thinks Likely mm-hmm. priority should be, and not what you think Colin's priority should be, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, of course, uh, sure. <laughs> that sounds good. Uh, um, sorry, I think. What? Same question is going to come uh, to obviously Alex and Callum, so brace yourselves, or if you have an answer, feel free to rescue us, Zora. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Rescue me! Um. Well, just think of what Lyco's skill set is. Think of what you're up against and what what needs solved first, right? Um, I mean, we are kind of finding the means to get Hamani doing and out. But how immediate is Hamani? What what is what is even Hamani's goals? What is my day? Well, you discuss that, then maybe that's worth discussing now. Like, because obviously, there's no point in setting goals that, like, half the party don't support. If that makes sense. Um, mm. Or I mean, obviously, again, not so much. It's, support, like, but... it's not really what I mean. I mean, like, if like, say, seventy-five percent of you guys think it's pointless to do something, is it worth somebody else investing time in that? What if it's going to go nowhere? Ultimately, maybe, I guess. So, um, I guess it just depends, right? So, Nico, what do you mean by that? Like, what is, what's you and Zora's opinion on Himani? Uh, well, I mean, I feel like it needs to be stopped. And the kill desk, and he's got something potentially powerful that I've got. I don't know how to fucking call it. In fact, he ate something. <laughs> pretty much ate slash absorbed that egg. He right? he pretty much swallowed it in one go. Yeah. It definitely seems to me like if he eats something, he, you know, like the Drag Queen's DNA, he sort of I guess strong, absorbs yeah. its properties in some way. Or he's a giant Isoki in a dragon disguise. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yep. <laughs> a drag Soki. Yep. I mean, it needs to be stopped, obviously, but. I mean, yeah, so stopped from doing what? Well, what he's doing. Bad dragon know. shit. No. But... <laughs> We were told Colin. fucking... Stop trying to get your sponsorship. <laughs> I haven't even noticed. <laughs> uh, 
Good stuff, good stuff. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. I mean, the idea. I'd like to know what he's doing. So... <laughs> you know, to kill first ask questions later. So well, I mean... like to know what he was doing, who in your party is good at learning what people are up to? Uh, so you're suggesting... Yeah, I see where you're going with this. Zig. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get Zig near him. And <laughs> He'll time travel with them. They'll get a bonding adventure together. You know? And then when they come back, it wouldn't seem as bad. I, uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I see where you're going. And... Uh, maybe you're fine too. What fucking Haman is up to fuck's sake, Golem man. Jesus Christ. I mean, the question, like, of course, I'm not is... suggesting that is the goal, I'm just saying that seems like the logical conclusion yeah, of what Nico sense. was thinking. Yeah. Right? Which is, we don't know um, what Haman is up to. That could be bad, maybe. So, I think yeah. That's going to depend on where the party wants to go. Right. Well, I think that's why that we we have the goal conversation at the start. So, like here, we'll we'll continue the list. though. so Alex, what about yourself? Your thoughts on what Lyco should be up to? Um, yeah, I am on. Um, kind of get the feeling he wouldn't want to run into, you know, just go straight into the next fight without, I guess, having. More information on what's going on. Um, I don't know if maybe building a connection with the stewards and getting as much information as they have on Hamani. Yeah. Something that would um, kind of that, yeah. le leverage his resources there. I mean, that's not a terrible one. Something like reestat. So, if we were taking Nico's conclusion, it would be gather intel or actionable intel on Hamani, right? Similar to your mm -hmm. Demogesh one. Then your version would be something like reestablish relations with the stewards. Yeah. It's not a bad one. Kind of, yeah. yeah, particularly post Absalom um, mm -hmm. cock up. Yeah, uh, I mean, to, uh, you've got an in with Babak, right, Colin? So that's a, yeah. a start. Um, he seems to, it, it, I wouldn't necessarily say like, but at least understand your capabilities. Because um, I think like's a strong word for a colleague or a former colleague. Um, Callum. Yes. <laughs> Hi. Oh man. Hi. Sorry. Two seconds. I see it rewinds the non-existent vod uh, to hear what the question was. <clears throat> no. Um. Yes. That's exactly what I'm doing. Um. I think kind of more in the same vein that knowing even like the whereabouts of a man and like what he's what he's up to but everyone said it already <laughs> well, I mean, what I would do nobody said it you, you um, tell us what your thoughts are Cal. this is your moment this is my moment to talk about okay. Colin this is your moment <laughs> talk about Colin um, <laughs> I mean that's what I would prefer to all times it's not at all at all <laughs> yeah I don't think Michael would be very happy about um we got the weapons and just going balls deep and let's go take out Hermione, you know. <clears throat> but shut up. Um, Who are you talking? But to? Uh, <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter. There's there's oh. laughs, laughter coming from the other room. Uh huh. Um, Nick Mangold is um, laughing at me. Okay. Hello, person. I I don't understand these words. Is it Nick Mangold? Yeah. Is it like shout out? That's not actually his name. Um, shout out to Nick Mangold. There you go. <laughs> his name's Callum. Um, shout out funny. to Nick okay. Mangold. Shout out to oh. Callum. Yep. Yes. You're welcome. Yes. Thank you for laughing oh, in the other room. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um. Um. Fuck off. Right. Um. I think. Are you being harassed? <laughs> I'm being a rack of me. Help, help, I'm being a <laughs> That doesn't seem to be something you need help for these days. Right, it's gone. I think you get like right, sponsorships for it, I think, Colin. So, uh... Uh. But yeah. Okay. Uh, so, yes, um, I think at least. Hi. I'm back. <laughs> back in the room. 
You're Callum. You I play think Zig. I'm Callum. Zig. That's me. I'm Callum. I'm Zig. Go for it. Who is your daddy and what does he do? Um, well. <laughs> we, um... <laughs> Yeah, no, I think I think Lego would want some like uh, actual information that we can use to even like find some sort of like um some form of information that would give us like an an advantage as to well, well, this is this sort of thing's happening. We need to we've got like this opportunity to do X, Y, or Z to kind of get to Hamani or at least know what he's up to. So why do you want Lyco to get to Hamani? He doesn't want to get... No, I don't want him to get to Hamani. Okay. Personally. Personally, to just shiv him. Just, just to get rid of him. I'm like, I'm done, I'm done with Lyco. I need him to go. Wow. <laughs> just go, go see, go see, go see Hamani. No, I mean, because um, if we are going to go for Hamani, which we, we kind of That's seem I mean. to be so aiming towards why that. Why would you be going for Hamani? There's my question to you, Zig. I don't just mean specifically Zig personally. Why would Zig go up against him Rambo style? I just mean, what is <clears> like what is the for the glory of Hamani to Zig and the crew in Callum's eyes? Well, first off, he's definitely going to be pining for this this beautiful glowy egg, right? I want that's 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 mine, <laughs> and that's the, that's it. That's the end of it. It's mine. I don't want Hamani to have it. So um, I think at least knowing where um, Hamani is uh, in order to keep the egg safe would be like Zig's personal um, okay. reasoning for that. Um, to at least, um, or at least know what his his Hamani's connections, uh, not connections, um, the reasons behind what he wants the, the egg and things like that. Um, big, obviously, big, obviously, powerful artifacts and stuff. You know. Mm -hmm. And I don't fancy if you know if the if you know absorbing the DNA keep of things makes him stronger. I don't fancy him eating up this drow queen either. Yeah, <laughs> that seems I'm, like I'm a quite, nice thing. I'm getting quite I'm getting quite fond of her. Yeah, good. I'm glad you are. Um, yes. Okay, so Lyco, does that help in any way? Oh, well, it's been very informative. Uh, but so but does it help? <laughs> New goal uh, will be yeah uh, no I I actually do uh, I I'll, I'll have to think about the wording. Well, you tell uh, me what, what's your thoughts more help with the wording. I can do wording. Well, I, I agree that I the, cannot. There is a need to gather in for math Taiwani. Um, I don't even think you're trying here with wording. And <laughs> <laughs> me, me try. Um, and also, of course, to to further prepare. Uh, I think those are kind of one and the same to an extent in as much as insofar as to the degree that the purpose of the information would be to be prepared. 28 minutes in. Um... <laughs> Therefore. <laughs> uh, and so I'm thinking uh, prepare? Is this that scene from... Money? The Big Lebowski, where he's in the back of the limo with his white Russian, trying to justify why he's done fuck all. That is like one of the time. only scenes from that film I have seen, and I can answer quite <laughs> definitively, I am out of beer. <laughs> um. oh. it's, it's my favourite scene in the whole movie, to be honest, where he literally rambles for five minutes and says nothing. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, I have huge respect for that, by the way. Uh, no, uh, yeah, yes, I, I, I would say that my, my, my goal is something very much to the tune of gather information and prepare to respond to the menace of Amani. Right, so there's a good question. What is Lyco's ideal outcome regarding the Hemani situation? Uh, dead dragon. Right, so gather info that helps me kill Hemani. I think he needs to be taken off the board. So yeah, that that goal sound good to you? Yeah, because I think you can include within that information regarding precisely what his nefarious plans are with yeah. eating spooky artifacts. Yeah. Uh, so gather. In aid of make dragon dead. There we go. 
Yeah. Good enough. <laughs> I, I will freeze it into parts. Thank you. I, um, right. <laughs> That's a good goal, though. I think it's definitely useful. Because um, it's it's kind of like the rest of the party or the fishing rod that cast out the line that is Lyco. It's like, can you get anything, Lyco? Can you? Is there anything there? Uh, is anything biting? Okay, something's a bit Lyco. Quick, go. <laughs> okay, um, I can live with that. <laughs> yeah. Zig's also the bait, usually. Um, mm. Next five. Alex, hello. Yeah. Hello. Um, goals? Yes. Good. Thank you. Excellent. Uh, do you want to tell me what your goal is? <laughs> um, I continue to vaguely pursue the burial of S. Kate, although ditching her in a random forest seems inappropriate. <laughs> Just like heave ho. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I feel like maybe either dignified burial of S. Kate or return body to the church. Yeah, like the, the Church of Abadar. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> how have you spelled? Yeah, close enough. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, yeah. I think yeah. that probably covers so, it. So, you're taking, you've changed it to Abaddon. Yeah, I prefer that word. Right, okay. So, <laughs> kind of on a barrier on your. I read that as abandon. <laughs> like you want to take. Uh, you want to take about like, like Holland's like main yeah. planet as well. Like <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, of all the people, we'll bury SK on Colin's planet. Why? Because we don't want her to be buried on our planets. That's why. Uh, <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. Abadar. Yeah. So you've got like obviously the Church of Abadar. Um, you could attempt to return it to there. <laughs> You've obviously you could just attempt to bury her anywhere, really. Uh, I, think I assume they have a deposit box for former employees. That's what I was trying to say. But I was too amused. To get <laughs> <laughs> like just like you open a slot in the bank wall, slide in the body, close it over. That's horrible. Uh. Um, but probably efficient. Um, oh, vicious. Um, the only other connection you've really got regarding SK is that. She knew the Radiant Supreme back in the day as well, I guess. Mm -hmm. So that's about it, really. I think like that and the bank, besides that brief limo moment he's had, um, it's pretty much all you've got in SK. Uh, yeah, no, I think that's good. So dignified burial of SK or return the body to the Church of Abadar. Just do something appropriate with it. There isn't. Yeah. Ditch it in T Rex Bill. Yeah, like, you know, deal with body appropriately. Yeah. Yes. Chuck it into the side. Return to sender. I mean, to be fair, chucking it into the sun isn't the worst idea in general, right? Yeah, yeah no, it's, it's spiritual. And... As long as we do it as a dignified chuck. Yeah. Mm. Chuck, dignified chuck. You know, a respectful <laughs> yeet. Yeah. <laughs> I I know, I thought you said chug. No, he did not. <laughs> in this campaign, not mm -hmm. unusual. Uh, not at all. Yeah, there's precedent. I mean, yes. considering the dead bodies have been chugged in the past, a.k.a. Hamani and the Drow Queen, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so... Yeah. So what you're saying is it's SK smoothie all the way down. <laughs> I mean, if you happen to like turn her body into like some kind of smoothie and drink her just for the lols to see what happens, because <clears throat> you're like maybe maybe it's not only dragons that can do this, right? So <clears throat> who knows? Who knows such things? Access to maybe? everyone's vault in the the back of Abadar. <laughs> ah, I ate her for her money powers. <laughs> Makes sense. Um, um. Zora. Nico, save us all. Um, get back to the final hour and debrief the crew, and it's absolutely fine to me still, probably, yes. Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Good. I mean, okay. Mm -hmm. And our party goal still says Liberal Democrats. So. I mean, it's still far out. I mean, I, mean, I feel it. I feel it. As far out. Oh. I, I, I honestly completely forgot about that. Um, <laughs> there we go, I've updated was, it. That wasn't me, was it? <laughs> I fixed it it seems like a me, but I don't think it was a me. That may be me. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, go. <laughs> Liberate them rats. That's, a... <laughs> That's the much better party. Oh dear. Uh, yeah, let's get started. Fuck this. Um... <laughs> Right, okay. so we zoom in on... Huh. As the Drag Queen leaves the uh, underground chamber. 
Mm. Uh. It was likely this is hard, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Huh, it's very alike. Very ah, uh, very alike word. <laughs> <laughs> it is though. Um. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. This shouldn't take a run up. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm. I, I'm. 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 Uh. As I recall, I was. Uh, consumed with thought over the practicalities of weaponizing the dragon. Yeah, because like, <laughs> how how even does one weaponize the the dragon? How make right dar dragon sword? Mm. Um, I suppose that's a choice as well, right? What type of weapon do you make as well? Which is probably <laughs> anyway, maybe not exactly <laughs> what you see, but something, <laughs> uh, something akin to it. So yeah, uh, I think vocalize something to that effect so let me let me try and get into character <clears throat> uh, so gesturing sort of with an open palm towards the pet dead dragon um, we have it we can use it uh the thing that's tripping me up is the how. I suppose I will take it. Go at cutting it. The plasma cannon? I, I pull out a much more suitable tool from my multi tool. Nods, nods with relief. <laughs> <laughs> So what yeah. is Zig doing during this exchange when they start discussing the newly acquired think, uh, bones? I think he's he kind of like watches the the queen as she walks away. Mm -hmm. Um, and kind of zones out the the kind of talking and the the background noise, just kind of lost in sort of non thought. Mm -hmm. And he'd kind of turn, go back to like the edge, and kind of look at the. Just stare at the the dragon, um, and just kind of like holding on to his his um, amulet as the sort of last thing that he has. That's yeah, his that isn't you know just shit. <laughs> that isn't the things you've collected along the way. Yeah, it's like his last uh, last thing that ties him to to kind of his graduation day essentially. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, that's exactly other than the the big snake. Other than that giant egg, yeah. Oh yeah, the giant egg. And the big <laughs> snake. That's not his. <laughs> Yet. Uh, what was Zora? What is Zora doing while well, they talk about cutting up a set of bones with um. plasma cannon and also a more appropriate tool? I don't think it was a ridiculous assumption on my part. Dragons are big. I mean, I guess it would just be kind of nodding along to like, the conversation because it's like plasma cannon sounds like a good idea. And, like when you'd say ripping it off, like, ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that seems like a good idea as well. Can everyone Is roll that... intelligence for me? Or, <laughs> or, or wisdom? I don't mind which one you pick. Oh, it might Just be wisdom. Get my, get my wee lad. I mean, I mean it's bad right? I mean, I'm not super intelligent. But here you go. You're not? You're right. Why you can't? Yeah. Wow, savage. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> A man has to be comfortable within himself and know his limits. So, Nyx. Yes. You you bring out your more appropriate tool. Yes. And uh, you stare at it, and then Captain's nodding. Zig's kind of distracted. Lyco's looking like, yeah, good. We're about to start doing whatever we intend to do. And then you maybe have a small thought that creeps across your mind. If mm -hmm. you could use this tool, this tool would therefore be utilized against Humani. Mm -hmm. So. Maybe you'll need something else to be able to work on the bones. 
go on or watch something. Something that's going to be um, maybe closer to what the Queen mentioned when discussing this. Mentioned? Just think about what she said last time. Excuse me while I go to YouTube. <laughs> um, <laughs> Does anybody remember what she said last time in regards to this? I actually don't. To I'm cut sorry. a gem? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah to use a true. gem. So, if you could harm these dragon bones with anything mm. you had, why would you need them? Well, mm. I mean, there's a difference between something that can sort of cut a dead thing up and something that can actually be weaponized in a fight. Um, I, I would assume... Maybe not. The, the, yeah, the plasma can would actually, or bla whatever it's called, the plasma magic, would actually be able to at least land, theoretically, a hit on Himani. Yeah, no, I think you, you can safely assume that, yeah. Um, and I, I would assu I, I therefore assume that like a, a consistent blast from it could possibly be applied to cut Dragonbone, because of course Dragonbone isn't all there is to Dragon, right? There's scale and muscle and magic. Um. So I, I, yeah, I, I, I take the point. Um, it's perhaps not going to be something you can readily process. I just don't think Lyco's knowledge extends to like detailed knowledge of how dragons work. Sadly, no. Fair enough. Like I'm trying to think from your backstory if anything would have. No, that, there's, but... no there's not really any any. Because it's not like you spent no. much time on Traxxas either, really, is it? No. So, yeah. But yeah, so that thought dawns across uh, Nyx 5's mind when he's staring at his uh, cutting tools. The Queen didn't mention where we could find such a thing, did she? I mean, she kind of gestured to it in the pit, yeah. Oh, sorry, it's over there. As in the dragon bones. That's pretty much what she said. If you want to kill a dragon, use dragon bones. Yeah. So if you want to harm a dragon, use a dragon. I think that answers your question if you think about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, you just might have the tools to do what you need to do. Depending on what you want to do, it might be really difficult given the tools needed. Yeah. You know? I wonder if your blade, you're safe. Uh. Look that is. I mean, what kind of profile? Are, sorry to meta game, but that's fine. We know it's pretty powerful, right? How powerful are we talking? Are we talking could hurt a dragon powerful? I don't know. Zara has the stats for it. So is it uh, that, is there anything wrong with you asking Zora that question? And Zora being like, "Well, mm, it's kind of yeah." Um, see, you know, yeah. perhaps. I assume he's sort of got the thing to hand, doesn't he? Um, yeah. Know, did you bring it down with you? I thought... Um, did she bring um, hers with her? I don't remember if she brought hers. I think somebody had theirs. I feel like Zora had yours and you sat it against the wall and she pinged it because I remember that being a thing. I feel like there was one, yeah. Yeah, because she, she, <laughs> she pinged that because she made that out of the dead body of obviously the dinosaur and that was her hinting at you could make a weapon out of the dead body of the dragon. So probably th yours still is definitely leaning. there. Yeah, it's probably still leaning against the wall next to Zig. Uh, what I do have on my back probably still may might work and if anybody has actually eighteen strength to use it. If anybody <laughs> off off no. next cough. Greetings. <laughs> what are you gonna hand me? Uh I'll probably just like clunk very sluggishly onto the ground like the dragon glaive that probably well, give it its full name dragon glaive thunderhead <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah i forgot you were carting that thing all right <laughs> yeah. zora has just, just been like, like a caddy shack of weapons right <laughs> that thing sounds like it might do the job clunk it down in after you it's completely useless to me the thing is so cumbersome I pick it up and give it a, a uh, sizing up. Fucking next. 
I don't even know if uh, I'm not even so jealous. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could have went for a heavy armor build. You just chose not to. Yeah. yeah, I'm just the mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like in the sense of Jason Statham mechanic, right? <laughs> yep. Um, so I'm not quite as bold. <laughs> yeah, give it time. Jason Statham's the type of horse, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely, man. I agree. Okay. Cool. I don't know why it's in the sword. Jank. It's Rose Jank. I wanted to put that in, but there we go. Rose Jank. I was trying to do the Love Shack. That's fine. Which one am I looking at? Uh, oh. This is just mostly for new coffee. He's not got it to hand. Um, uh, so yeah, it is. Rose FAQ, and it is the level 7 one I think I gave you. It was. Um, let me see. It was a uh, level. Did I put a preset for another level? Uh, 8. I mean, there isn't a level. Oh, that you're thinking of the Thunderglaive. Sorry, I'm talking about the Scythe. Oh, the Scythe. Um, I don't know where the Thunderglaive ones are. That probably is a level eight. I don't know where I put the stats for that. Cool. Probably further up. Ah, uh, yeah, I did not I, I forgot. Yeah, actually, I don't think I've made the item yet. I put an equipment. Where is no. the Thunderglaive? If, well, it's not in the chat, and I've, I can see Laura Dern in the chat, so I feel like it would have been after her. <laughs> so, what was the name of that safe again? It's in the the rules chat. <laughs> the thunder right. stab fuck. No, that's not the safe. That's the um, the glaive. Oh, I know it seems almost pointless making a differentiation between that, but no, it's that's that's perfectly fair. That's the safe there, obviously. I know. Because that's the one made from the dinosaur, and then on top of that you had the glaive. Let's see. Is that a thing in the book? I don't think it is. Thunderhead dragon glaive it is. It's in the book, and it is indeed level 8. Yeah. It does twi sorry, t 20. Yeah, it does 2d8 slashing and electric damage. That was that would have been disgustingly good. I um, mean, that would explain how we did so poorly in the face. <laughs> <laughs> a modern take on the traditional weapon of the Dragonkin, the Dragon Glaive, is a pole arm in which the large slashing blade is electrified with, sorry, via embedded circuitry. These weapons are generally so heavy that they can only be used by large creatures or creatures with strength modifiers of at least plus four. Hello. I'll put that in there. And I'll dump. Hopefully all that will get pasted over. Does that... There you go. It looks cool as fuck, doesn't it? Quite frankly. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's so cool. I really like the scythe more than that, personally, but that's because I just think scythes are kind of cooler in here. It's love. Yeah. <laughs> now then go and take a swing at the skeleton. Um, I'm actually thinking... But I can shatter a part of it, or you know, take a small piece off, maybe like a shoulder blade or something, um, which I can then use to augment some of my existing tools. Sure. You know, like you make a diamond tipped blade, you don't need a whole thing made of it. Yeah, like the same. Although, thing. wouldn't it be better to have a whole thing? <laughs> <laughs> Inefficient, though. Um, no, what you yeah. need to do is you need to learn how to chop it up into small bits, make bullets out of it. Oh, uh, yes! And then yeah. just get a fucking minigun and go, Hamani! <laughs> Family reunion! Go, 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 no, go, 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 actually, you've given me an idea. <laughs> I was thinking about this before, but now, what if. Yeah, we could. You're we right, could put... rescue old man guns. I was talking about powder <laughs> dragon bone. What if we put powdered dragon bone into the By the way, those uh, health benefits it, are a myth, Lyco, on that powdered and dragon bone. No, no, it's not the benefits, <laughs> right? I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, right? We can we can use it as the basis for some sort of spell. We find some magic -y person and have them do anti dragon magic using Aren't the dead most dragon of you magic -y people? I'm not. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
Oh, I have been known to magic. Yes, I've been known to dabble. <laughs> I've been known to do that magic thing just once or twice. So, maybe it just gets to the point where every day ends up looking over the balcony, right? And like, yeah, Zora's standing there holding the dragon glaive as best he can in one hand and the scythe in the other. And maybe that's the scene that we jump back into character on. I mean, maybe try mm. and have this conversation out in character because it's probably worth that. Uh, so yeah, so maybe just there's a shot of um, Zig standing with his staring at the camera as we look back towards the balcony, and then everybody else is just standing by him, slowly looking out over the balcony, lit by all the torchlight. I'm kind of, you know, how you sometimes sort of get like a bit of nervous action when you're in thought, like mm. drumming a table or something. Yeah. He's sort of doing that with his hands and the ledge, not 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 the fingers, like actually drumming with the hands sort of absently. We could we could try and incorporate it into our ammunition as like Does anyone know uh how to make magic ammunition? Uh, uh, in theory. Mm. Okay, great. In in theory, is is uh, you're you're further ahead than I am. Um, my other idea, uh, swords. I love the idea, other idea, swords, and you just click back, and he's got his two blades extended. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that your default idea? I, I usually prefer knives. But that's just a difference in scale, not of exactly, type. Exactly, because it's a it's a very large creature and dangerous, and you know you don't necessarily want to be directly under it. Better to hack at it with a scythe. Yes, looks over the scythe. I, I'm not. You know, I just not a scythe guy. Don't not not my kind of whip. Not your aesthetic. It's it's not a question of it's wearing the bone you know, sage it's, armor. <laughs> <laughs> it's practicality. It's like it's a weapon for for cutting through lots of fragile things. But how often am I doing that? You know, uh, it's. It's generally, he makes like a stabbing gesture, you know, you, you get a target and you shoot him or you shiv him. Uh, so is a question of precision? Yeah, precision and... Sorry, die in the plasma cannon. <laughs> Pre precision and uh, style. It's... Uh, You know the 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 the, the fighting style it requires. I say it's wide, it's sweeping, it's imprecise. Yeah, that's it. Precision. You're right. And I will turn around and take a hack at the skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to make your way down to the, the skeleton? Yep. Thank you. Do you say anything before you go, or? No, no. What I'm just like I'm going to go test this precision. So you've got your you've got the thunderhead, yeah. Uh, the scythe. So the uh, fun dragon. Is you've got the glaive, not the scythe. The glaive, sorry, yeah. yes. Yeah, because yeah. it's the big boy. Yeah, the glaive, the dragon glaive. Ah, uh, so what are the stats of the glaive? Two uh, D eight. They are just two D eight basically plus okay. whatever. Let me find. Where did I even put that? Uh, Right, so let me see if I can do it this way. Did that open for every day? No. No. Okay. Nope. No. Never mind then. Nothing did uh, opening. Uh, boom. Uh -huh. Aha. Yeah. Right. Oh. Now, from now, do you get stats though? <laughs> no, just no. pictures. No, oh, just a picture. Fancy. Um, yeah. Picture and description. Right. Let's see if I can. Oh, whoops. I just closed it as well. Yeah. I also closeted it. Uh, 
Yeah, capacity is 20. It does 2d8 electric and slashing. Quantity 1. It's special is powered and reach. And its type is PC equipment. I actually just paste all of this in the chat. Uh, 20 charges. How much does it use per charge? One? I mean, uh, attack. It, it doesn't say. Okay, I assume one. I would say one. Always oh, so. assume one. I guess. So reach 10 feet. For the stars. Uh, I think it's just considered an additional five, isn't it? So, yeah. Yes. So yep. your, your normal reach is five anyway, so go to 10. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it is pretty cool, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. oh, I'm ready to smash it. Yep, yep, yep. Um, just turn off my combat. Can I combat track the uh, skeleton? I don't think so, because okay. what, what's the targeting rules for it? What does it say you need to target? You can designate one foe. So, no. <laughs> this is my foe, Ryan. Yeah, <laughs> my sworn the... enemy. I mean... I've longed for this moment. <laughs> <laughs> It's, for it's, it's a matter of seconds. It's your sworn enemy until it's dead. That status has been achieved. So, uh, oh, excuse me. Death so does not inhibit people. You are in very, world. very much excused. Uh, <laughs> and here we are. Lyco, tell him. <laughs> uh, yes. I think the handicap it used to be. Well, Lyco's just trying to avoid like the wrath of to. a phrasma. So he's just <laughs> keeping quiet, I think. <laughs> In my defense, it's not on purpose. Then the Jedi are evil. Um, so, yeah. Jedi. Jedi suck. I wouldn't call them evil, but they suck. Okay, I can. So, uh, yeah. Do you want to have a go at it? Yes. Yep, so, you guys, do you do anything as you watch Nix5 <laughs> make his way all the way down through the Coliseum? He's the smart guy in this group. I'm just going to watch. And. Um. Yeah, watch. <laughs> Be jealous. Well, yeah. way to go, oh, justifying well. your statement. Oh, well, yeah. Oh, okay. uh, I, I suppose I would nod approvingly and um, turn away and uh, address the small boy. Mm -hmm. Um, the small boy. Hi, small boy. Um, and say, yeah, that was uh. That was some good work. It well thought. The sentimental thingy. The gizmo. <clears throat> I think we kind of like snap. <clears throat> snap out of it. And kind of look at him and go, uh, um, I mean, I, 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 I think he'd have like a tear in his eye. Like, um, I, I just, you know, I thought maybe she wanted something. That meant something. How how heavy is is Sig? This is relevant. I promise question. you. Like a one yeah. Isoki unit. <laughs> <laughs> um, how strong is, are you? is he? Is he liftable by a human being easily? What is your strength? My strength is like plus one mod. I think. Let me check. What's the score? Next the score. This is going to go easily. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. <laughs> Nix could lift the ship up if he had to, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid fucking spell glaive armor, or whatever it's called. Spell Aegis. That's the one, Aegis. Speeches. Spell Aegis. Mm -hmm. You're all jealous. Y'all yeah, jealous. jealous. Yeah, it's ridiculous. <laughs> hey, you spent his money on it. You just could have spent your money on it. You chose not hey, to. That's... It wouldn't be useful for me. I'm a space rogue. My strength now matches my intelligence. It's a sprog. It's just nonsense, isn't it? <coughs> um, I actually have homework for you, Alex, and I know you're going to love yeah. it. Yeah, so while they're debating stuff, I'm going to make... Spell cost Uh Where are we here? Yes. So, so, PC stuff. <coughs> Does it, say, like, it tells you the size, but I don't think it ever tells you their weight. No, see, it just, yeah, just a small... So obviously it would vary a bit within individuals, I suppose. Um, like exact height. Uh... Okay, I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that I think you're probably reasonably liftable. What was uh, your, actual, so what was your score? Foot. Sorry, did you tell me your score? I didn't actually hear you. If you did, uh, it's twelve. Is a plus one. Yeah, no, I'd say like it wouldn't be graceful, 
but you could definitely lift them up. I I will lift them up like I would like a kid, like under the arms. You've seen me lift Luke, right, Calm? Yes. Yeah. Just I imagine it'd be quite arm. similar to to to, to Luke's size. Like it's he's about he's three foot tall, so. Uh, yeah, I literally, literally, literally do that, left up to eye level, and said, it was good work. Take the compliment. Uh, <laughs> and then I would just try and set him in the captain's back. Can I shoot him off? I think it was a good joke. Before, before waiting to see what happened. I think, yeah, Zig both looks horrified, in awe, and kind of just a, a weird mix of everything as he gets picked up and like st- kind of when you pick up a cat and they they at first they don't do anything and they just kind of stare at you and then they spaz out a wee bit. <laughs> um, I think I think that's kind of what happens as he like as you try to uh, you know sort of plonk me on the back of the captain I think he's kind of like scrambling trying to think because it's not graceful at all trying to grab onto like something before kind of just falling on the floor this is, this is life is in a good mood you see that's the problem I'm just gonna fuck off now I'm gonna walk outside and try and get reception in my comms and see if I can calm anything uh, yeah so ha- leaving that havoc behind me like, uh, who are you intending to calm? Anyone! I want to see what the fuck's happening. Where? Like... On Castreval! What's nearby? I mean... She's not gonna know, she's not been here for... You are... Unspecified hundred years. You are Jamiroquai levels of deep. It'll be a long walk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Remember, it took about an hour to get down here. He's pepped up. Yeah, you can run back upstairs if you want. There's no issue with that. And back out to like the jungle if you wanted. Yeah, I do it. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, so you head off. Okay, okay. Uh, Zora, what are you up to after that weird interaction? <laughs> um, I was just really... Well, I don't know what's going on to him, but... Nah, seriously. Good job, kid. And... I would then... Start heading down towards Nyx. In fact, actually, no. Is Queenie still here? No, she left before. Nah, she went to away. Yeah. Hmm. You can go after her if you want. Yeah, yeah. Why do that? Um. Hmm. And the way to answer it is: What else would you do if not that? I mean, I'd mostly just be observing. Like, what next is about a day to Dragon Bones with a giant glaive? It is pretty cool, you have to. So yeah. it just depends if you think that's cooler than speaking to the Queen, or whatever you want to do with the Queen. Uh, I, I do think I would be enamoured with the Dragon Glaive, and the Chotum, to be honest, and the Bones. You don't have to justify it to me, you just have to tell me what you're doing. Yeah, I'll just watch. Yeah. I'll, I'll watch. To I'll probably head down towards him and like, just to get a better look, you know. Don't you have jump jets? Uh, good idea. Can't you like, be way more impressive and just jump over the balcony and land in the middle <laughs> of the fucking fighting pit? Yeah, I'll, that's, I'll do that, I guess. <laughs> Why do you seem so like... Yeah, uh, this seems like a good idea, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go, yeah, Can you roll me a, a D100? Yes. Course. Doink. You're fine. Okay. Fine. Yes. So yeah, you jump over, activate your jump jets, you do some kind of like a superhero three point Good landing. Point. Four point landing. I guess so, yeah. <laughs> <Tail>. <laughs> um, I'm forgetting. Um, let's see. What have we got for that? Yeah, this is probably the most appropriate one, right? For the impact. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Alex, did you get what I meant at all there? 
do you see what I I'm think doing? so. Cool. I'm definitely doing a thing. Okay, cool. I assume you know class and all that nonsense and level 8 nonsense. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah you can assume what it would be. Um, I think he can tell that um, what stats would be good and what stats would be bad as well based on your knowledge of that person thus far. So yeah. Oh, I don't want I'm great at this stuff. <laughs> good, good. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so you land in there and then next you get to the bottom as well. So it's, as I said, it's quite a large Colosseum type setup that they mm -hmm. have for this. Uh, what is Zig up to in that regard then? Because like... I think... From well, from Zig's point of view, what's literally just happened uh -huh. is um, obviously Lycos picked him up, um, tried to throw him in the captain's back. Kind of went horribly wrong. The captain went, "Good job, kid," and jump jetted away. Yeah, <laughs> just yeah. kind of glued. <laughs> I'm surprised that was such a so cheesy head. that was. It. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice, nice, nice <laughs> I think. I think. Yeah, I think Zig's kind of just going to look at the ground and be like, you know, I'm not, I'm not just a kid, and then walk off and go there, see the there egg. There we go. There we go. There's the the gift for that moment. Good job, kid. We. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. So good. Um, yes, yeah, so you want to head back upstairs and go to the egg? Yeah. Yeah, so head out there. Wow. Are you doing it like quietly or are you, are you kind of just. Yeah, just kind of slowly and um, kind of, you know. So I've got this image of uh, Lyco walking up the stairs just holding his calm out as if trying to get reception. <laughs> and then I've got like Zig slowly just walking maybe like five minutes behind him, just one step at a time, leveling up the stairs. And so it's really yep. up to you, Lyco, if you notice Zig or not behind you. Maybe you see the reflection in your calm or something. Who knows? Uh, um, a trap. Yeah, he wouldn't be too far behind, so... <clears throat> I don't know. I went. I. I. I you know. What? I. I think. I. I'm pretty engrossed, and I'll probably be assuming that if he isn't kind of approaching me or what have you, then he's probably doing his own thing. So I think for the time being, I'll just be, as you say, maybe looking to my com every now and then, keeping an eye in case I bump into the queen, uh, <laughs> that sort of thing. Yeah, you can't even see her on the staircase at all by the way like the staircase is like I said it curves around the edge of the stonework so it's all kind of yeah. carved out of the stone again and it's not like the death trap style deep cave stairwells that you'd expect hang like you know where one side's got the wall of the cave the other side's just a sheer drop it's not like yeah. that this there are many drunken drow parties where people stumble about so they make sure there's walls on each side of their staircases um so yeah, I, 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 I mean, she left like a couple of minutes ago, yeah. right? I mean, we wouldn't yeah. necessarily expect to be right behind her. You had maybe about um, a ten-minute chat before um, <coughs> you, you left the room, so yeah, she's got at least that much of a head start. But she definitely, like, you know, she's very quick-footed. Um, but as you head up, and I think we go back to next then, and we see what you're up to. Is you kind of get down to the middle and you see the captain. Yep, captain. Um, just here to see what you're about to do. Of course, official oversight is important after all. I would nod and, like, I would understand what you just said. <laughs> <laughs> and that next take the swing at the... <laughs> <laughs> This is the best gift I have ever written for this game. Anyway, oh uh, god. Subscribe to our <laughs> highest level Patreon. <laughs> if you wish to see Nick's this. does that. Oh dear. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, give me, a, give me an attack roll then. With your Thunderglaive. Dragonglaive. Yeah, sure. Okay. So yeah, you swing overhead, pull it down, and can you roll a d20 now? It's put a minus four on for something. A proficiency issues, maybe? Oh, what is that? Let's have a look. Ah, uh, proficient. Heavy, my 
Probably an advanced sweat my heavy weapon. It is, advanced, it is an advanced melee weapon, I believe, if we check the rules. Yeah, down. I'm is not in proficient there? in that yet. That's on the other hand, I mean, I'm I don't think you're going to be having too much of a hard time hitting a stationary dead target. So that's probably going to help. Yeah, yeah, I think advanced weapon proficiency was my next pick for a feat, ah. actually. The good thing is, once you get some other golds underneath your belt, you'll have that in no time at all. Um, mm hmm. Now, yeah, you swing at it, you smack into the thing, you see the crack of electricity spark up the kind of, like, you know, the circuitry all going through the, the blade of the glaive. Um, mm -hmm. And there's just the kind of the ringing out of the impact as it sweeps across the, the walls of the Colosseum. Because obviously it's like a big giant parabola, right? So mm -hmm. all the sounds resonates, but you move the glaive away and it doesn't even look like it's dented it. <sighs> Any other ideas, Captain? Um, I was kind of hoping. Better <laughs> <laughs> refer you to the GIF. <laughs> I take another swing. Um. Boom. Nice. Do the exact same again. Boom. Smack it in. Yep. I'm not sure that this is going to work, Captain. Let's get the arrow. Wait. Perhaps the Queen might be able to give us a straight answer. Would that be asking too much? You seem to have the best rapport. <laughs> we laugh, but Zora is charisma primary. Uh, I would roll my eyes again. You know like, what happens. They scream yeah, intensely. Okay. Um, to the Queen, then, I suppose. Uh, I, well, he yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I will take out the casting cutter and sit there working, trying to have another go. Yeah. Mm. Um, my bit of dosh go. I don't know, that's an advanced weapon, so that would just give you a minus four again. So. Yeah. Zara says in character. Uh, no, I was. Uh, <laughs> sure. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave towards the. I've got a gift for that as well. Whoosh. <laughs> right, no, what? Uh, it's, uh, how big, how tall is this? This jump? Right? Why, what's your, what's your range? 30 feet. 30 feet? Yeah. Let's say you can get to the point where you grab on with your hands and pull yourself over, right? Oh, let's do it, why not? Because okay. if you can get up 30 feet from the ground, and let's say it's like, f what, just shy of 40 feet tall, that means, or 35 if we can include the ban banister, right? So, I mean, you can, you'd be the point where you can just use your arms to pull yourself over, so. Yeah, let's go for it. Because it doesn't, the height doesn't start at your head, it would start at your feet, so. There you go. So, you can make we'll it up, sure, why not? Jump jet up, just for the sake of not walking up round, because I'm lazy. Maybe I'm not lazy. Maybe I'm just trying to like, train myself up a wee bit more now, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why Getting not ready. practice with them? Train myself up. <laughs> mm -hmm. Makes sense. Soon we'll have this. You did okay, kid. Swoosh. <laughs> <laughs> That would be soon. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's brilliant. <laughs> I don't spoil it for our Patreon subscribers. Um, right, so you jump jet away, I guess. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, You sit in. Can you roll me some engineering, I guess, then, next? Certainly. Thank you. Uh -huh. Engineer. Nice. Yeah, it's okay. 
So you, you start like doing what you can down there. Um, oh my. I think, yeah, so if Zora heads off after the others, we've got this kind of staggered stairwell party. Um, so I think we just fast forward to the part where at least Lyco's at the top, right? So Lyco, are you, okay. when you get to the top of the stairs, what are you, what's your plan? Is it to just like head straight outside? Or is it to wander the Well, path? if I see her on the way, I will speak to her because I want to ask her what she anticipates will happen if I try and just calm out to anyone. Uh, or if she would advise against doing that for security or what have you, you know. I don't think she's particularly, check in. I don't think she's particularly difficult to find. Um, I think like when you get out there, like the massive hall, like the big greeting hall, chasm type room, where you're kind of like portaled into. Um, she's maybe at the far side of that. When you like get okay. up to the top of the kind of stairs. <clears throat> I'll uh, I'll uh, notice, and uh, <laughs> having noticed. Uh, We'll put the put the calm down a bit, you know, not pushing it away, just not waving it around, <laughs> um, mm -hmm. and I will approach her uh, and say hello, but not like that because that's not his voice. Something like, uh, "Hey," <laughs> and then she kind of like turns to regard you, and then like does that thing where she kind of like cocks an eyebrow and just like looks at you briefly and she says are you accompanying me to my bed chambers and she just smirks and carries on walking i uh, thought i might check with you briefly before i did something uh, i know it's been some time since you've uh, been back home and she uh, smirks and she goes are, are you flirting with me mr quint uh, not as a rule no uh i meant to ask only I was going to try and... she puts and... her hand up and she goes, Well, as a ruler, <laughs> you need some work. And she carries on walking, laughing to herself. Uh, I, w I was going to... I w I'll walk just not, you know, far enough uh, back not to feel uncomfortable about it. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I was sort of saying, uh, I was going to attempt to calm out and see what's local to us. Is, is there anything you would anticipate that might make that up? Bad idea. And she looks at you and goes, Calm out. Oh. He looks at his calm, you know. Oh, oh. Uh. Yeah, remote communications? Like sending stones. <laughs> I, I honestly, I from the sound of it, probably, but less. Well, I'm guessing that's probably magic, right? She just smirks. These things are mostly just plastic and electricity. Just cocks another eyebrow at you. And radio, of course, and of course. Uh, you know, uh, the, uh, the physical sciences have changed a bit in recent, did they call them physical sci- I'm gonna go outside and do a thing that'll get people's attention so I can speak to them. Is there anyone whose attention I shouldn't get? I think she just, like, her smile kind of moves from a smirk to just, like, a genuine, oh god, what is he even trying to say smile. Um, but, like, properly, like, she is amused by this, <laughs> like, really genuinely amused. And she just smiles, and she's like, Lyco, do you remember the way outside? Yeah, there were things. I simply mean the directions from here to there. Yes. I wish you a swift journey. And she turns uh, and walks over. Nods and withdraws. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she carries on down the, the corridor towards, I guess, her bedchamber, unless she was fucking with you. Um, yeah, and I think you walk past Zig, I guess, next. Because Zig, you probably saw him like chase after the Queen <coughs> as you got to the top of the stairs. Uh, I think I think I, I look at him for a second. And go, it's it's really hard speaking to 
old people. <laughs> <laughs> and then just nod He just myself. looks at him. Um, what? You know, she's not the first pre-gap person I've met. So many questions. The other one killed me, so I didn't get the chance to ask any. Uh, I'm I'm told he wasn't very interesting, which is quite disappointing, isn't it? I mean, you think, oh wow, I'm gonna go out like that. Well, uh, anyway, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know if they ever got anything out of him that was useful, but he was around for a while. Uh, 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 okay. See, he had adapted and modernized. I was I was actually investigating his ship when it happened, and it, it was just a ship. It was a normal ship. He was getting shipments in a ship. But, uh... Just like all getting revenge for all the times they talked about his son. <laughs> yeah. He's, uh, he's, just a, he's just a bit of a, 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 a sort of reflective mood, but also a sort of a fairly happier one than, than he made. Okay. Something yeah. like and he's, he's just kind of... I think Duke has stuff. a similar expression to what Michael would have had <laughs> during Sun conversations back way back you when. You know, he'd, uh, he'd, he'd been alive and about, and he didn't remember some stuff because gap. But he, you know, he he adapted to to life in in the uh, the packed yeah. roads and life, <laughs> and he did he did normal. I mean, admittedly, kind of criminal stuff, but he he was here, and he, he didn't. He didn't think about rocks when I talked about communicators. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's rocks. it's difficult. Uh, stones, I, I mean stones. stones. Yeah, I. Do you know what sending stones are? Uh, would Zig know what a sending stone is? How old is Zig? Uh, what did we say? Then add the last two digits of your bank account number, divide by how many times you've confused people. Oh my and goodness. Then, uh, <laughs> uh, just roll mysticism. Sure, thanks. <laughs> <clears throat> wow. Uh, sure, yeah, I think so. I think maybe you've heard of them at least. Maybe... I, th I think I think you'd have like a, a oh, fact, sort no, of vague... Do you know what? Even better. Two um, acolytes within the monastery definitely stole a set of like the ancient sending stones that were like kept in some fucking velvet lined box in the monastery 100% and you played with them like walkie talkies yes um, and they were probably made clean all of the monastery floors for like two weeks straight for doing that as well whoever was caught mm -hmm. doing it so yeah maybe like, Ziggy even yeah. grasped them in <laughs> Fucking grass. Yeah, maybe. because they wouldn't let him have a shot. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> maybe that's why. Like, um, maybe that helped lead to why you were slightly more isolated in the the monastery than other people. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I, I think it's a good explain. Um, well, they're, they're just like stones, but you use them as like um, like your communicator. But they're 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 stones, and they just kind of work with each other. Yeah, that's kind of what I guess. But, you know, people don't use them much because waves communicate. <laughs> yeah, um, and, uh, yeah, you know, they, they seem pretty pretty ancient, or at least important, or important and maybe ancient. Probably ancient. Not sure about the importance, but we weren't allowed to touch them. And the trouble is, Gandalf, you don't know who else is watching. True. I don't know why Gimli uh, was pretending to be Saruman, <laughs> but... I mean... Uh, <laughs> I'm yeah. the Yeah. Well, those are what she thought of, anyway. That's kind of... Well, I mean... I guess it kind of... I mean, yeah. I guess they're the same. But different. Yeah, it's just... It's, it's difficult. It's, you know, you have to... Uh, translate everything and then translate it again into oh god did these words even exist uh, I'm going to go and try and communicate with someone or something I don't know what's nearby she didn't 
suggest anything untoward, so I guess probably just more of the whatever it was that we ate. Um, but if I have any luck, I'll I'll let everyone know as soon as... No one's actually going to receive a message because we'll be down the stairs. Uh, I mean, Zig's up the stairs. I'm going to do it anyway. You're, you're here. I Try think, and stay in... I don't think he has. I don't have a call. <laughs> So yeah, what does Zig say? Does Zig even like register that you don't have a comm, or do you just say no? Okay? Um, it just kind of goes, hmm, okay. And I think you know when uh, Lyco initially says, "I'm going to go talk to someone or communicate with someone or something." I think he'd have the sort of image, "I'm off to communicate with the stars," mm -hmm. um, sort of vibe. So well, that's he's what like, Zig ah, would do. So yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. So it's like, ah, oh, Lyco's going to have some some Lyco time. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Uh, yeah. So anyway, I I wander out to the yeah back up the that, exit. that secret tunnel. Yeah. 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 So you head up that way. Um, Zig, where do you go? Because you know what way the queen carry went. on. You know what way the the Lyco went. I think you carry on going to the egg. You kind of just want to. Yeah. So that's like you follow Lyco then, because that's like Yeah. Oh, I, so I follow him to the thingy. Yeah. Yeah. So that's like a no dining room type meeting room conference room thing that you've had for. Yeah. Them. Um, and the egg still sat there glowing away. Yep, so you get there. Okay. Lyco, you've obviously passed by that and went up the random tunnel. Yeah. And you head off it's out. It's not my focus. Yeah. So you head out that way. Zig goes, oh yeah, I'm going that way too. Follows on by, gets to the egg. Uh, probably by that point, Zora, you're at the top of the stairs now? Oh. Uh, so you probably just see the back end of Zig heading up the corridor towards the conference room. Um. Kelly. Like a run for the, the queen, and I. Like, you don't see her. You see like uh, a big empty room. She'll be too far down the corridor. You don't know she walked down yet. I was shouting, "Zig, Zig, red cat." Um. Hmm. How how far am I? Am I looking at? Have I have I got into? I've got to the egg room at this point. Yeah, you've walked in, then you just hear, like, as you like look at the egg, it's glowing there, and then, yeah, you hear doubt from down the corridor, medkit being traded. Medkit. I think... I think Zig would just go towards the egg first, and... Bastard medkit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Captain. Well, has to be done. <laughs> And um, yeah, he would he was kind of just put one hand out as if to touch the egg, but then not because yeah, because you start to feel the heat from the egg. Yeah. Um. Because remember it is. Uh, and then he'd kind of like, sh kind of shout back, going, "Aha, uh -huh. queen, see the." <laughs> I did see which way the queen went. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did I? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I'd shout, just carry on up that way. Did you point and you can't <laughs> see you? <laughs> I'm not, not telepath. Oh, and then Zig would, would like kind of scurry back and just so he can see the captain and then just point in the direction of the queen. Yeah, and he just points like on like the far side of the big chasmus entry room type thing and stuff. Chasmical. Yeah. Chasmagoric. Um <laughs> I was like, no, I'd like, good job. And I was like, <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> jump jets away. <laughs> jump jets. <laughs> jets which are exclusively used indoors, I noticed. <laughs> uh, exclusively. I mean, they may have been used out of doors, but I didn't know, so it doesn't count. <laughs> I actually haven't favorited this gift yet, so that's now added to the favorites list, and there we go. <laughs> good job, kids. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> Away he goes. <laughs> right, okay. So, yeah, you head off after the queen then? Yes. Cool. Yeah. Uh, Zig, do you head back to the egg? Or what do you do? Where do yes. you go from there? He bonks himself down next to it, and he, he I think he just talks to the egg. You talk to it? Yeah, what'd you say? Yeah, I think he's just like, you know, venting and just saying what's on his mind and talking about everything and how weird like it was a second ago and um you know how everyone keeps calling him kid and he's not happy about it and he's like you know i'm just 
I feel like I need to be... I could, I'm better than all what they think in there. Uh, it's having an angsty moment. Yeah, nobody understands me like you do, Egg. Yeah. I think he would be, like, kind of... Um, like, if the egg's sort of, like, glowing in a... It's orange you know, light. It's like, like, a, like a nice warm, almost like firelight, you know, orange. Yeah, so I think he would be kind of dully glowing to kind of match the pattern of the glow, if that makes any sense. Yeah, so like you kind of like... As he's sitting talking to it. Glow um, in unison with it. Yes. Sympathetic glowing. Sympathetic glowing, that's exactly what he's doing. Or the egg's doing, not sure which. Yeah. Um, there uh, is he's, glowing. He's just, yeah, he's just, he's just sitting there talking, and I think he's kind of holding his amulet and kind of, you know, playing with it between his fingers and absentmindedly just ranting at the egg. Yeah. That's what he's doing. Perfect. And... <clears throat> Zora. Yes. So, head down the corridor. The decor gets way, way fancier. Um, There seems to be almost like crystals built into the walls that are all kind of glowing, like a kind of purpley, violety light that seem to like light up the entire corridor to the point where all the fancy kind of like engraved like almost vines and flowers and tree leaves and whatnot like all of that's all like worked into the the stonework all that seems to glow like kind of like a white glow almost as if it's responding to the light from the crystals and that is what illuminates this entire corridor when you get down far enough very fancy yeah right um, <clears throat> and you pass a bunch of closed doors and you can see the queen up ahead Ah. Uh. Um. <clears throat> um. <laughs> and then, like, the, the camera switches to like a <laughs> shot of her face looking back over the shoulder to like you, and it's just her rolling her eyes. It does come up in subtitles that they scream and then she turns and she smiles. Uh. Overlord? <laughs> uh, I would just... Uh, I, I would eye roll. Mm-hmm. It comes up in the subtitles they scream. <laughs> I'll have a subtitle <laughs> Um, just here for perhaps a little bit of information. Okay. Uh, <laughs> she the, just tilts her head. Her smile kind of like unwavering. So we're having a little bit of trouble getting through the bones. And I know he says... Um, what he said though is his gem. I'll reiterate the gem statement. Right, okay. Not to <laughs> I cannot gem. remember. Yes, yes. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Narita. Thank you. <laughs> and Zara was indeed welcomed by the narrator. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. And she just blinks. Slowly, and says, "And how is it I can help you?" She, you can see that she's oh. still like cupping this uh, photograph that was given to her, as if she's still treating it quite preciously. Well, uh, handicraft with a safe seemed to be well, pretty well done. But maybe, maybe, perhaps, she would know how to go about it with that. So, if I'm understanding you correctly, you want me to furnish you with the materials for your campaign against a dragon I have no connection to, and also wish me to then weaponize that equipment? It did eat your sister that you may or may not despise 
you can see she's clearly working out how to reply, right? And then she kind of like looks down to the side and like her shoulders slump a bit and she says, Yes, I did see something of that nature in your mind. Because obviously the last session, you all uh, thought uh, about Humani drinking her. <laughs> mm -hmm. However, if I um, was one to hold grudges, and she cuts you off deliberately, she literally waits for you to speak. If I was one to hold grudges, you wouldn't be breathing. You gave her to him. And she lets those words find your ears. <laughs> <laughs> well, at that time, we really didn't have much of a choice. Death is a choice. You chose the other option. Well, with most mortals. I wouldn't know. Oh. I guess she has a bottle, right? Uh, I don't know. I mean, what, she's just posturing, right? The Immortal Queen? Sounds way better than that mortal bin. Uh, <laughs> 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 See that mortal bin in there? Um, well then. Evanescence's new single, <laughs> My Immortal Bin. <laughs> My Immortal Bin. <laughs> um, I was just kind of like, I must I go like, it's sort of ideal, just like... Yeah, uh, the kind of, ha! Huh. Uh, yeah, yeah. Awkward laughing, I think we call that. Yeah, yeah like... Nervous uh, laughter? With your bottle. Uh, Did you ask her that, or do you just kind of think that? No, i probably think it. But yes, it was... Well... At the time, it was an unfortunate circumstance. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. We don't care for your sister. I would hate to think you did, if that's how she was treated by you. Well, we didn't really do anything to her besides scoop up our remains in the avow. Her glass is the, the one to blame for that. <laughs> So, so digging deeper. <laughs> she, um, like, as soon as you said, like, scooping up her remains into a vial, like, you just see, like, her eyes narrow. And then you mentioned Urgolas, and you can see, like, the taste again on her face. And she says, You really did not oversell your lack of sugar coating, did you? Uh. Just kind of sniggered at that, to be honest. God. Just, <laughs> Why? Why are you doing this? We're all gonna die. <laughs> it's watching Michael Scott try and discuss UN <laughs> negotiations, isn't it? Never let the captain be alone with anyone. We have learned this. <laughs> can today. only end in tears. To be honest, right? I mean, that's what happened, right? It's got scooped up into a vow. Yes. We don't have to say it like that. I mean, as far as I can tell, she has the, the, the liking to her, so she probably takes great pleasure in this. I, I just don't feel like that's the impression she's given. Uh, maybe a bit of sisterly respect, you know. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> fuck your sister. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting lost in Michael Scott gifts because it's all I see for Zora's negotiation skill now. <laughs> and it's so true when you think of the Vesk's opinion of the other races, where it's like clearly Michael Scott thinks he's brilliant. 
<laughs> oh man. Oh, I'm not in that. Yeah. <laughs> am I a hero? I really can't say, but yes, I am. <laughs> um, yeah. So back in the game, she um, kind of straightens up her shoulders again, and she says, "Speak your intentions briefly." <laughs> I would like you to help us forge some weapons so we can kill the dragon. <laughs> and your payment will be what? Ah, see. What would an up and coming queen like? I don't know what you like. Alpha J, something uh, that is precious to my people. Um, your hand in marriage is precious to your people? Uh, it's precious to many people's. Um, off a stall on the table. <laughs> she just stares blankly. Like, there's not even, like, a smirk or anything this time round. Like, it's just like a blank... But it's not... There's no anger either to it. It is just, you know... This is now, like, a business transaction to her. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you wish the services of a queen. How about more like an alliance? She cocks an eyebrow. How about. Hmm. I give. You passage to my ship. That way you can refamiliarize yourself with, well, the galaxy at your own leisure. Perhaps along the way you might find out a way to seize back your throne. She just sighs very heavily and slowly. And her shoulders slump down. She looks back up at you. Please follow me while we discuss this further. She turns and opens the door in front of her. And she walks in and... Do you follow? Yeah. Yep. Why not? Uh, the room lights up ahead of you with the same kind of like crystals all built into the walls and stuff and um, the the work of the floor and the walls and everything all that kind of white light kind of comes from it and the place lights up and it's just a very it's probably about the size of again maybe a, a decent sized dining hall um, and it's her bedroom okay and it's got like several different kind of designated areas. There seems to be like a library area, there seems to be like a seating area for like entertaining people with like a fire pit at it. Um but instead of a fire it's a weird crystal. And um yeah, she walks in, the place kinda like slowly kinda like thrums to life and uh she walks up to like the bed. She puts a hand on one of the posts of the bed, because obviously a big four poster bed. All kinda like strange like white wood with kind of like gold edging to it all. And she like puts a hand on it as if she's to like familiarise herself with something she's not been at for many years. And um she then walks up to like the bedside kind of cabinet thing she goes to, opens it very delicately, and then inside just like sits the, the gift that the Zig gave her. And she closes like the kind of cabinet back up. And then she turns and she motions to like the kind of seating area where this weird kind of crystals in the middle of it all like a fire. It's slowly kind of like flickering away with kind of violet light. Okay. What do you do? I'll sit. And she goes ah. and she kind of like sits there as well. And uh, she says, So, you want to kill a dragon. What has this dragon done to deserve death? There are so few of them in my day. 
So I can only imagine there are less now. Well, I guess we'll go back to Zora's opinion of Triaxis, and he doesn't know the difference, so... Uh, as far as I can tell, there's a planet of them. Indeed. And she looks like that's like almost a question. <laughs> yeah, Triaxis, I believe, is the name of the planet. <laughs> there is... Well, there we met Dragon Council of some sort. I believe that's what we we saw. And how many sat upon this council? Can't remember. <laughs> four. Am I mistaken? I thought it was four, and a bunch of obviously guards. Was it four? Four. Am I wrong? Was it four? Can't remember. Just look at the archive. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like we've been playing for nigh two years, right? It's almost like. It's a while ago. ago. Yep. It was a long time ago. And that was in session like 10, I think. So. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Right? Wow. 30 odd sessions ago. So, yeah, there were. Five, if you include the black dragon. Okay. Five. And you wish to make this number four? Um. Preferably. Why? Hmm. That's what I would like to find it. But a friend of ours, well, late friend, if you could call her that, um, was hell bent and stopping whatever it was he was trying to do. And, well, I guess if I was to put my life in her hands or my life in Hamani's hands, I guess I, I, I would choose hers. There's got to be a reason she wanted to stop him. Who is this you speak of? Uh, the... The late SK Furler. Furler. <laughs> Furler. Um, <laughs> can no one say Furler? Furler. <laughs> and she goes, so if I am... To, if I am to understand this correctly, this black dragon broke into my sister's vault and you wonder why a vault keeper wished to stop him. Uh I get I guess I guess. I'd... And if I'm to recall your tale correctly, you failed. So why do you wish to kill this dragon now? Um, do you, what? Do you believe Eskit Furlder wished this dragon dead? Or merely to stop him accessing a vault that did not belong to him? Good, good question. Well, good question. the contents of the vault, not, the, not simply accessing the vault. More like, yeah, I suppose it was. More like the contents of the vault. And what was the contents of the vault? Uh, some kind of dark void egg of some kind. I do not recall any such artifact being part of my collection. I've only heard brief statements about this egg, but it doesn't sound great. She just laughs. She kind of like holds her stomach to kind of like stop herself as if, you know, puts one hand on her stomach to stop it and then puts like at the back of her hand up against her mouth and nose. 
to like kind of hide her mouth as she laughs, and she says, "Forgive me. You want to go kill a dragon for stealing something from my vault that I don't recall owning, and you don't even know what it is or does or means." Um, and you have no means to kill this dragon, <coughs> except that which with which I've just furnished you with, and yet you need me to weaponize it. For you Catherine can see Bob. why I find this amusing. It was your vote. <laughs> it's the truth. <laughs> Yeah, she just sits there. Oh crap, my volume turned like way down. I did not hear the last couple of settings. No, she just sits there. Well, I'll just sit on back. Hmm. So then, yeah, we'll cut there. We'll head back to Nix 5 in the, in the basement. <laughs> 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 Awkward. Uh, yeah, so tell me what you've done for the last hour, Nix. Because it's been an hour for them to climb to the top of the stairs, never mind the absolute <laughs> diplomacy trash fire. Uh, yeah, I've been engaged in, I'm actually trying to dig out, yeah, the bladiest bits of the uh, dragon's vertebrae. Um, I mean, just stick onto all the sword. fans are there. Yeah, but those are like the best bits for, to use as weapons. Yeah. I'm just looking for kind of the off cuts to Can you use. Imagine to... weaponizing dragon fang missiles for your ship. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm not like as a player at heart here, and as an engineer player at heart, and somebody that loves magical things. The idea of getting access to a fucking ancient dragon skeleton that you could weaponize every bit of. The nose of the ship needs to have the skull mounted on it. You need to have the fangs built as missiles. I <coughs> just. Uh, <coughs> Uh, or whatever your plans are for it. So talk me through what you're up to. Uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm mostly just... Uh, getting the pointy bones. Yeah, trying to get the pointy bones so that I can uh, yeah. take the... build myself a nice dragon saw. So yeah, what is it you're trying to make then? What would you like to have achieved in your hour? Um, because you can definitely have got sharper bladed edged parts of the bones mm. and what right so what do you do with them yeah so i then want to bond them onto you know i'll, I'll have some sort of a saw or drill implement right, okay. um i want to bond them onto to kind of speed up the rest of the harvesting yeah you could probably mount it on the edge of the the glaive right because mm. it's probably got the weight behind it to, That's true. Be, yeah. to matter so yeah you could essentially mm. just space duct tape one of the the bones that are like suitably shaped, I guess, like Which a Which I have loads of. So, yeah, of course, why not? Um, um, you get a toolkit. It can be, there can be a bonding material in there. Um, and yeah, I don't see why that wouldn't be a thing you could do, is just like tape that on there. It would obviously probably need it adjusted every time you hit something with it. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah. I've got time. You definitely do. Do you want to give me five attack rolls? Maybe. <laughs> Never. Maybe it's Maybelline. Uh, I've ruined my screen. Like, uh, <laughs> my screen's full of other is. things. <laughs> Mostly other character sheets. Boom. These aren't bad. Where were these in that combat we had? <laughs> I know, right? Especially that second one. Um, that's four. I can count. Cool. So big damage. I would say the time it big takes you damage. to fix the the, the the I guess the blade bone we'll call it um, onto mm. the glaive and readjusting it every time you've swung. Mm -hmm. um, I'd say you probably make it through one of like the. I don't know, rib bones or something, you know, one of the smaller rib bones. Um, yeah. And you actually managed to get straight through it in an hour. Cool. 
Both. But it's working. The bone is willing to cut the bone. It's working. Mm -hmm. He shouts, It's <laughs> working! <laughs> so you're uh, left like a big kind of like shard of bone that um, hits like the ground. Which I then chuck in my uh, null void chamber thing. <laughs> just, I'll pocket that one. Mm -hmm. Is anything I'm knocking off, I'm just throwing in there. Yeah, and how much can that hold? What is the capacity um, of that? I think it's 5 by 5 square feet. 5 by 5 square feet, if I'm that's the up. case. That's what, 25 feet squared? Let me just double check that. Which book am I in? Uh, null space. Null space chamber. Mark 1, 25 bulk. is a 3 foot cube. That's it. Right. Um, Enough. Yeah, oh. I, like you would obviously have cut a piece to fit, right? You would cut like yeah. less than the fifteen foot of bone off the the thing. Otherwise, it would have been silly to have done that. Otherwise, mm. um, you definitely I mean, won't fit all of this dragon into that space. Oh no, but I'm just making sure I'm pocketing some in case something goes south yeah. while I'm working. I'll on it. I've got some. You could probably fit, given enough time, mm -hmm. a third of this dragon. Yep. I'm Which is significant, Dragon. right? Yeah. Like, it would just be though things like if you went for like the pelvis, though, that would take a long time to hack up, right? Mm -hmm. Um, to to jam into the null space chamber. Yeah. Um, is there like an opening limit though to the null space as well? Because you only kind of consider that for time and whatnot. Um, uh... Like it's not like a bag of holding where you get like a five foot ring or some shit like that, is it? <laughs> Those aren't the stats of a bag of holding, that was just words taped together for no. context. <laughs> uh, when you press a button on the side, the device creates a circular extra dimensional rift, the size of which is determined by the null space. I don't know, that's the pocket space. I'm assuming it's a, because it's a three foot cube. So it's probably the same. Oh, so it'll be a three foot. Yeah, yeah. It basically opens like a warehouse door. Yeah, okay, cool. Yep. Yeah, that makes, that makes it easier to jam stuff in. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so yeah, you can like, it's up to you if you want to like tell people of your success or just to carry on. I imagine Next you'll word. probably just carry on, right? Carry on, yes. I figured that. What you need is you need something built into your armor that you can say, please inform the crew, or even just is aware enough that it knows it needs to inform the crew of your progress and f detaches and flies off to inform them. So, I mean, I, I do have the artificial intelligence connected up to comms, which can literally. Yeah, hook up to this. The problem is your comms don't reach theirs from where you are. Yeah, and you also can reach I six comms. Yep, yeah. I come my pocket. <laughs> I bet you finally look into the null space and go, "Oh, that's six communicator." Oh, how'd you that's get in there? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, no, like you're you're definitely making progress. Um, yeah, you've excellent. fashioned a shiv making shiv, essentially. So, I'm going to set about on the fangs as quickly as possible, I think. Yeah, you want to focus on that? Just cool. generally the pointiest bits of the dragon. Yeah, and there's a lot of pointed bits on this dragon. This was a very big pointy dragon. Um, it's almost like the females are more aggressive looking than the males. Um, the females. I was thinking that exact thing, yeah. <laughs> shark, shark, horror, horror. In fact, that's a good song for that entire moment with his electric glaive. Um... <laughs> As you hack this is generally a pretty decent song. It's also, yeah, yeah. I really like it. Um, right, so, Lyco, you get outside. Yay! Uh, I mean, narratively, I mean, if we were keeping the timelines in sync... You I know, was outside. Well, <laughs> yeah, but you get outside, what's your what's your plan? <clears throat> the heat again, uh, that clinging heat. So, I've not really looked into the mechanics, it probably isn't even there, of how exactly how these do work, so could I try and, like open, like, pick up open broadcasts, for instance, is that... You probably could. Yeah, like, mm. just, like, almost like a receiver, essentially. Yeah, I think that would be my um, first thing, my first instinct. You could always try and link up to the planet's network, as well. Do I? Mm. Is that something that would be... Like, so say I check my, my comm, would that be like immediately available? 
So like, or... think of like checking your mobile phone for available Wi-Fi. Yeah. Yeah. Same idea. Yeah, I'll, I'll check for it at the very Castro least. Castro Valley is a very advanced planet. Um, yeah, but we are kind of in the backwater a bit, I feel. You don't know where you are, though. I mean, true. This could be a garden. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Someone's okay, like yeah, archaeological I, I, I preservation like site or something. Do you know what I mean? Mm. It was the Jurassic Park of uh, oh, no. Castro Valley. <laughs> oh, dear. What could possibly go wrong? The entire ecosystem's thrown off because the, that mating pair were killed. Um, yeah, so it's up to you. You can connect to that. Obviously, though, you'd need to do the sign on, press OK for cookies thing. Okay, yeah, the press OK for cookies. Yeah. The thing that basically means you've l registered that you exist on Castroville. Um, now, here's a thought Is there a well, packed world maps? Yeah, like no, like if you go into the Castroval Holonet or whatever the fuck you call it, Galactnet, um, yeah, like you've you can literally just Google Maps the shit out of it if you wanted. Yeah, I I want to get a sense of my relative location then. So you can bring up maps of Castroval, but I don't know if it would know specifically where you are straight away unless you share your location yeah. data with it. Oh, he's too paranoid to do that. <laughs> that's why I was asking. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's true. That would make sense. It yep. wouldn't just automatically know, probably. I mean, I'd hope not. Um, I just feel like you're the type of person that of everything the crew that would turn that off. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, I am kind of in real life most of the yeah. time as well, unless I need it. Um, I would, yeah, I, I suppose I would look at maps to get a sense. Do you think... I, obviously, I don't feel like we're in a position where there's anything particularly identifiable that would no, you know I a lot of castro Valley is jungle um yeah so like you can bring up like a like the google earth equivalent of castro Valley. you cycle around to maybe go what well, looks like the most jungly part of the jungle and then maybe you even look up the dinosaurs as well and you maybe try and go where are they in relation to jungle is if like that's the only two pieces of information you've really got right do you fought dinosaurs here yeah and you're so jungle. it's yeah, okay, um, having decided that that's a no-goer, a no -goer, uh, cause I think he would take a brief look just in case, um, he saw anything that would, you know, in his mind click. Uh, Something you haven't seen either, is any overhead traffic since being out True, there. yeah, so I can assume we probably one, are yeah. in the wilderness, I think, from that. Mm -hmm. Um... Because obviously, I if, you would... were, if you were near enough, like a settlement, you would probably see traffic from yeah. obviously space, right? <laughs> Coming in. Uh, the uh, only other thing you've got, right? So you've got three pieces of information, I guess: jungle and Castroval, right? Castroval jungle is one. Those dinosaurs, two, and the Drow Palace, right? That's a very good point. There's got to be historical records, right? So, yeah, I space Google. Do you want to give me a roll for that? Some... Of Drow Palace. Uh, let me just see. That was you. Kind of you kind of handed me that one. I have to admit. <laughs> I'm making it a roll. <laughs> Computers. <laughs> sure. Yeah, that is valid. Uh, do you want me to write a little preamble? You or? could do culture if you wanted to jank it as well. Really, because I mean, culture is maybe a little. I have a very high culture score. It's up to you though, but it's. Culture is valid enough because it's not like you're trying to hack the network. You know what? I'm gonna roll culture in that case. Yeah. Thirty-two. Yeah, and I think um, like you put in all the parameters you're willing to share into Castroval Net, and then you you get like a rough idea of on this particular continent that nobody goes to for wildlife preservation reasons. Yeah. Um, it was thought that you know underneath the uh, you know, the surface, like the old palaces, like the kind of subterranean palaces of the former Drow were here and they were built underground for, you know, the, they didn't want to be ruled by the Lashanta class, etc, blah blah blah, and they tended to try and avoid confrontation with the Fermarian, like, hives, blah blah blah. Yeah, so basically, secret Drow palaces thought to be underneath there, but nobody goes there because it's a 
Wildlife Preservation Island. Cool. So, so that's the most likely place you could be, and it is pretty much if all the f- like nobody would fly overhead because it's also like the idea of like maybe the pollution or the noise would yeah. affect the wildlife also. Dot 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 flashbacks to you just gunning down. I mean, <laughs> man's got to eat. Yeah. Uh, so eat. having ascertained that that's the most likely uh, location, I think. That would be quite satisfactory from at least in the short term. And for one thing, he's probably quite pleased knowing he's not in a position where he has to be terribly worried about much supervision. Um, the my next step, I suppose, uh, I I I want to find out. I want to find out what... your video broadcast if you wanted as well instead as well. That's always because it obviously we skipped over that for the sake of space yeah. internet. Well, I, I'm not sure whether I'll go for you know space Google or space radio, but I want to see what the chatter is at the moment in Castroval about the situation in the back roads, particularly uh, Absalon Station, etc. Um, uh, yeah, you get the date. That's something you get access to. Okay, and it's. Not been that long. It's like been what, like a day. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's, <laughs> there's, no, there's no great skip forward. Okay. Yeah. It's go. been four hundred years. It's actually um, four hundred years before you started the game. <laughs> no. Ah uh, yes. So, having seen that, uh, I will go uh, immediately to you know I open a few tabs of reputable <clears throat> news sources mm-hmm. and. Uh, and a couple of like conspiracy Craig and mm-hmm. what have you. <laughs> and yeah, just Craig sort of, dot Cass. <laughs> yeah, just like it's just like scra- scan through um what people are saying about it. Yeah, and I think um on the more reputable sites the details are so vague and it just talks about um an unavoidable like cascade failure of Absalom systems um, and investigations are ongoing and they're obviously trying to get essentially just the resources to rebuild the replacement station um, as soon as possible to try and get business as usual right um, they're trying to re- relocate a lot of the refugees from Absalom uh, there's still a call for anyone that's willing to put people up or ha- like has resources to share, etc. Donation pages exist for it, you know. Um, Rebirth for Absalom, one of the big charity organizations that's just appeared from nowhere. Um, some of the words are spelt with extra Ks for no reason, so it's maybe a goblin website. And then um, you've got uh, the conspiracy stuff is... The Vesk invasion has already begun. Open your eyes. That is a, of course. one of them. A, the oh, the Kasathan a, superiority movement is also blamed for this. A, Kasathan's been one of the oldest races here. The, yeah. They have <clears throat> offered the potential, so this is on the official sites again, the Adari, whichever they would know is the city ship that the Kasathans have, they have been asked by, like, the survivors of the Pact World Government, can you act as a temporary station, right? Because it is the, it's got the equivalent resources, if not more. Okay. For an entire, because it's a city, like, it's a, basically it's a planet yeah. ship, right? Like, and it huge. also looks prettier. Yeah. Um... So they've been asked for that, and they have essentially, without saying no, they have red taped and paperworked that conversation to oblivion. So you can tell straight away by looking at the way all the language is used from the interviews and the the, the you know talks that has been red taped to bits so that nobody is going to make any progress anytime soon. So the Kasathans don't want to look like the bad guys and say, yeah, no, you're not coming on our fancy spaceship. They've went, we would need to make a lot of arrangements. There's a lot of sensitive situations. <coughs> our ecosystem is dangerous. We don't know if we've got the resources to support that. Um, 
you know, we could facilitate, you know, ships refueling if need be, blah blah blah. Like really vague, not really helpful, but don't wanna just say no out of politeness. Um mm -hmm. like assassins don't let people on their ship. That's just not a thing. People aren't really allowed on there. They're very secretive that way. Um, yeah. I they call you, um, they visit you, that type of thing. I think Lyco hasn't had much downtime with with, with uh, his computer resources, so he takes the opportunity to trawl through some of the more popular boards and more popular threads and uh, drop increasingly unhinged and mostly based in numerology theories about the return of the Alibrians. Right, okay. Um, and also, because uh, he's feeling particularly cheeky at the moment... Can I ask, is it on the official sites or on the conspiracy sites? Oh, it's, sites? It's, the, it's, the, it's the Looney Boards. Right, okay, cool. Um, Space Chan. Okay, they're uh, called Lunar Boards, or Lunar Chan. <laughs> oh, God, I really say you up for that one as well. Yeah, you did. Um, <laughs> I also will leave uh, a couple of comments uh, hinting at the possibility of Vesk Civil War. Okay. Here and there. Like, you know, just go into a busy thread about the Vesk invasion. Um, and, like, get things wrong enough that it doesn't sound like anyone with any inside knowledge. Mm -hmm. but just just putting the, the idea out there in a couple of... I think of we call that stirring the pot, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Beating just the Just see, see, pin it down and see if anyone picks it up. Yeah, cool. And I think, like, we maybe have this shot of... Maybe you've, like, lay across a, like, a fallen over, like, bit of log from when Zig smashed the tree to bits. Or you're maybe hanging out, like, you're sitting in a tree, you know, just on a, on a branch or something, just chilling out scrolling through your your phone essentially mm, um, space one yeah <laughs> yeah um right zig anything else happening with you and the egg no um again just just venting it's uh you know it's like oh yeah the egg doesn't tell you know, to shut zig up do so this. Yeah. Like, no exactly you know so he just keeps going, you know, you know, is Zig go get firewood, Zig wait here, Zig do this, Zig just thingy, it's as if and just, you know just like a a hindrance and a child to them, you know? Looking at the egg and going Yeah, the good job kid, kidding? right? Yeah. Um <laughs> Like and then I think you you know carry on just thinking about things. Uh, I mean, even you know I used to even Nix was like used to just be able to just be with Nix, and now he's all different and changed, and it's all just there uh, uh, and yeah. I don't know what am I doing. I'm talking to an, to an artifact. I'm talking to an egg. Mm. To be fair though, that egg has spoken to you though right this is true i mean do you um, remember your your visions of uh grace but that's um that's different that's not t i don't think he classed that as talking that's it could be um, yeah that's that's in in zig's mind that's um that's like channeling like the inner vibrations of the the sun's essence and yeah. Things like that. It's, sure. it's yeah. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Um, the weird thing is, though, called it does, and um, <laughs> yeah, I think then we maybe just drift all the way back up the corridor. So I think the we... shot obviously starts with like oh, <clears throat> heads all the way down. I think the bottom half of the screen is just a uh, the constant Iron Man style montage of Nick's chipping away. A dragon and at the top the camera follows from the tree down from Lyco all the way back down that tunnel past Zig talking to an egg back through the corridor into the big chasmus room over the banister f down the corridor all the way through all the fancy crystal lighting into the bedroom and it goes right back to the conversation of her staring blankly at Zora I mean <laughs> forgive me, but that's just the truth of the battle. Your truth. Yes, I will agree to that. 
Would you like to hear my truth? Go on. I am a queen. I've actually got a, a, a goal off you. I want everything. <laughs> just like, <laughs> just like just go through my I mean, stomach. maybe that is the vibe that Zora gets, right? <laughs> I mean, think how many leaders or like superiors that Zora has like experienced going up through not well. I was gonna say the Vesk military, the Vesk life, um, which is the military, and yeah, like there are people that. I guess just know their station in life or their power, right? Mm -hmm. So you probably do get like proper vibes of. Well, I assume you respect Matva, right? Uh huh. Um, and I imagine, like, what's like Zora's opinion on Matva in the sense of do you think you could take Matva? Uh. I don't mean the the Vesk answer, which is of course you think you can take Matva, right? I mean the. What's, like, the truth behind that? I'm probably not. So... I don't feel like Zara's proven himself to himself yet. Yeah. In general. So, so you get, like, so. the same vibes as, um... Because, as I said, you respect Matva as, like, your commander, right? Um, of the Obsidian Star. And you definitely get similar vibes from, the, like, that statement when she goes, I am a queen. Like, that's her truth to her. That means a lot to the queen, the droid queen. So, the idea that you're saying, yeah, that was your vault, it's as if you're saying she's not a queen to her. Um, but really what she's saying is, I am a queen. Even though she has, like, no subjects, right? Nobody knows she's still around, right? As far as you can <laughs> tell. She was locked in her own vault by her sister, who's now dead. Uh, the Vault Keeper, also dead. Uh, doesn't know anything about current times. Finds it difficult to translate current times. Yeah, right. Um, right. So, does Zora respond to, I am a queen? Um. Besides Zed snapping and say, you go girl. You go girl! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I mean, Zara <laughs> is more famous than her, so. <laughs> just, I do want to respond. I'm just trying to think of how it would. Ask, like, remember, you are a group of players, right? You still, it doesn't need to. <laughs> you could try it. saying something horribly inappropriate. <laughs> I mean, I don't think he needs to try. <laughs> it doesn't need to try. He's got, he's got it covered. <laughs> true, true. Like I'm um, telling all the the the, the hard truth. And it has been hundreds of years. And yeah, she's way out of date, right? She genuinely is, like, what? so out of touch. Wait. You're out of touch. Mm -hmm. But she You're thinks as almighty, uh, I've got to assume, isn't quite as almighty anymore. Wait. Science, motherfuckers. Wait. <laughs> 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 uh, why don't you suggest her to go out into the world and see how it's changed? Like, just tell her, like... This... You might be... Even if you're still queen, like, I'm not saying you should say exactly that, because that'll upset her, <laughs> but, like, go find out what you're queen of, then. Go see... You've tried speaking to us, and it's worked alright, but... Yeah, I mean, I think if, if she actually gets a physical sense of it, and, also, like, just hearing about it. and look at what you've witnessed her do, right? So she can't she can't burn a tree, but she can shield herself from the dragonkin, right? Who seemed to like burn himself, annihilate himself on that shield that she cast. Then you she managed to like obviously half another one with a door. She's then mentally held back your ability to read her mind due to the toxins from <coughs> the the weird dinosaur and also then weaponized like the parts of it to make blades. She clearly ran a fucking fighting pit years ago that clearly had a fucking ancient dragon so something must have been there that meant 
the ancient dragon didn't just eat her. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, working out what she can and can't do is a bit tricky. Mm. Um, this, I've got, I've got a response. I've got a response, I guess. She's not going to like it. Well, currently she's that gif I sent, so... Uh, this world will, will this system will see differently. She kind of narrows her eyes again and she's like, what do you mean by that? It's been hundreds of years. Your sister took the control. Everybody alive right now would know her reign. And exactly what is the footprint of her reign now? <sighs> I'm perhaps not the best to ask that question. So you're telling me you're here to conquer the system, yet you know nothing of its politics? <laughs> Me personally. It then does a montage really harsh cut of every time Zora fell asleep in a like an UN or <laughs> 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 um, made paper soldiers and made them fight. It's a three point plan of diplomacy, <laughs> yeah. which is we don't actually care what are these things, what is diplomacy. Yeah, it's also just a triple bladed knife, isn't it really? It's a three point <laughs> plan. I was some... just three knives <laughs> <laughs> together. <laughs> I see you've played knifey policy before then. <laughs> <laughs> I was simply a soldier during the war, and... I don't think there's anything the simple about you. Up. She's the only oh. one. <laughs> 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 wow. Yeah, <laughs> weirdly, there's like a shadow cast over you. It's the shade oh. from the shady bitch in the tree outside. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the bitch. Um, yeah, so she says, like, I don't think you are um, that simple uh, or anything simple about you. And she then she stands up and kind of like brushes off her dress, even though there's nothing like all that. And she says, You want my help, but you offer me nothing I can't get for myself. And she would say cannot, not can. <clears throat> well, I mean, I don't know. So I think. This is how you lost out on a moon, by the way. I'm just going to point this out. Let's just take us all the way back to that time you could have got a moon. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's true. Um. I'm also going to add, you followed her here. I didn't force this scene. <laughs> this scene on me. Mm. You're right about that. <laughs> You're right about that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Before I hear all of our audience say, Oh, why is the GM picking on Nico? Because he's not good at thinking on his feet when it comes to asking for what he wants or what he can offer. I'm like, no, this isn't on me. I gave her a good offer, right? Um, what was your offer? Though? Like, what really? Like, think about it, like, what did that mean to oh, her, well, right? I mean, I don't know. So you offered, like, do you want to come <laughs> with us and look at space, right? For lack of a better term, you said that. But what that really means to her is, we're on a suicide mission to kill a dragon and Urgalas. Uh, do you want to come with? Uh, right. I mean, that's that's that's. Hard. I mean, she doesn't need to stay on the ship to go, <laughs> go kill a dragon. In. Said she can do whatever she pleases. Uh, Maybe Zora meant that, but uh, yeah. Keep in mind that you have to translate from Vesk to Space Common. She has to translate Space Common to Ancient Drow. I mean, quite a bit. It's stabby, stabby, bang, bang. <laughs> <laughs> I think she offered you stabby, stabby, bang, bang before, and you turned her down. Stabby, stabby, bang, bang. <laughs> uh, right. Hmm. 
Uh, also, can I just say, right, it'll never happen because big. I'm both characters, but can you imagine her and Alice talking to each other? Oh, man. <laughs> I need to engineer this somehow, <laughs> just to spite you. <laughs> I, I go, but no, no, I've, I've got a decent-ish response, I suppose, mm -hmm. I guess. Uh, not everybody has ambassadorial contacts that could perhaps let you get influenced with the Dark Elves once more. <clears throat> <clears throat> Bullshit. Also, you know, <laughs> might want to mention reintroducing to other factions that might have forgotten or due to the gap. Anything you know? specific come to mind there, Colin, or just in general? Uh, the Viscarium yeah. would be one, but that's not because of the gap, but... Mm -hmm. You know, how much are other cultures going to know? Like, maybe the, the drower in a position of knowing a bit more. I have to imagine that cultures will probably remember more of their own stuff because they can just sort of look around and see it. <laughs> to a degree, <laughs> of course, a lot of that seems to have fucked up too. Yeah, that's but... what I find so interesting about the gap because remember, like, some photographs just wipe. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, which is it's, weird. It is really weird. And it's, I think, um, an opportunity maybe to introduce her to the leadership of the other worlds, to introduce her to the Viscarium. You know, say that, like, I, I can not just introduce you to your own people so much later, and how how uh, many of the people that you remember will still be about. I mean, they're elves, so probably, when you think. But we can also, you know, show you the, the worlds as they seem today. Like, we can introduce you to the stewards, who are pretty major peacekeeping force, as it were. So, um, can I just jump in with a thing Michael would know? Yeah. If you introduce her to the stewards, the stewards will be like, ah, you're handing in a criminal, are you? I see, yeah. Right? Because the drow are kind of like operating out of a posse as essentially tech scavengers and arms dealers. Mm -hmm. And warmongering at the moment. Or they were under the drug, the last drug queen. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Well, we could, we could, we could sell this to them as regime change. You know, you could, yeah. Um, That's an idea. It's like, look, your drug problem is going away. We're going back to the good old days. <laughs> the <French laughs> drug we don't remember the good old days. We don't know the good old days. Well, oh. well, the good old days. That's when you find out that she's like this fucking evil, like, empress. I mean, like, for all we know, she could be worse, but she's not given us any reason to think that. Yeah, and you did that. Remember, you did the sense motive thing as well, and you did pretty well at it, from what I recall. Mm -hmm. And, like, yeah, know, just... like, she doesn't really s seem to feel the need to hide anything, <clears throat> right? The only thing yeah. she ever hid was the I'm not going to comment on the fact that I know everything you were thinking because that's rude. Yeah. Um, mm hmm. So she's willing to like respect boundaries that haven't been stated as well. So she's obviously brought up well, can handle herself to a degree, but obviously she has been kind of sheltered, and I don't mean the imprisonment, I mean the I don't really cook, and I haven't yeah. ever really cleaned, so... She can I get, get a bit of fucking... Body's guts, though. But then, <laughs> what you like? This was going to come up at some point, and I think it was with Lyco. And um, but the conversation had moved on. Weaponizing something with a skill, or being a weapon smith, is different to survival skill. Mm. And she's obviously learned how to make herself a weapon if she needs one. But that's maybe something you could bring up with her as well. Do you know what I mean? It's entirely yeah, up to what it Zora's um, approach is to this because. You obviously want her to help weaponize the dragon bones, or it kind of seems like you want her for like a bigger chess piece going forward. I mean, she's not totally helpless, but you don't know the extent in which she is useful. Um, so, is she going to be like the Anara of the crew if we use Firefly terms, or <laughs> uh, you know, like why yeah. not? <laughs> or will she end up the Jane of the crew, right? It's it's hard to say. At this Money point. wasn't enough. Um, yeah. No, I, I I have to say, like, I think Lyco would be wary of involving her too much. Although mm -hmm. he's certainly happy to assist for now. 
Yeah, that makes sense. Just in general for Lyco's suspicions, inbuilt through his experience, shall we say, with anyone, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Um, you fucking people. Wow. Um, <laughs> Shackles um. shivers. Uh, oh, can you imagine Shakos' reaction? Why am I all the people that would have the best reactions to this woman? How dare don't you guys? worry, I'm not going to kill Shakos <laughs> unless I have to. Yeah, I'm going to have to train <laughs> someone in RP one own. of these other characters, right? <laughs> oh. But you're not getting me to do any characters <laughs> before you think about it. I meant other people, not anyone in the game currently. I'm going to have to bring oh, I people. <laughs> I just mean generally. <laughs> but yeah, so... It's up to you. Unless it's unless Dietrich. So Zora, like for you, do you even want to further your relationship with the Queen, or do you want to like, t- like, I guess like wash your hands of the situation once you're you're off the planet? Because she did say she will get you to like she'll hold her end of the bargain, which I think you know she will, um, to the best of her abilities. But she calls spaceships star vessels, so that's going to be interesting. Um. Uh... Uh, I feel like it's it's more like took an interest, right? And he probably doesn't see any harm in just letting her hang, kick about the ship and find out that, well, she's got a fucking steep ladder to climb. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's more like a you, you don't know what you're, you're facing. I appreciate what you think you're facing, but you don't know what you're, you're facing. Yeah, and I think maybe you get as well, like maybe Zora understands the I am a queen is her saying, I have been, like, I've been through bullshit levels of training for all forms of, you know, upcoming surprises to my existence, right? You know, she's been trained in the formalities of court, dealing with bullshit suitors, dealing with potential war. She's probably fought in wars, right? So. She's also dry, which sadly means they're probably like adept at subterfuge and manipulation, based <laughs> on racial profiling, of course. So, as you can imagine, this is until we find out that this area, the drow, were like they were the most noble of. The thing is, noble. she might be right. She does seem to be like pretty decent as far as NPCs I have designed go. Right? Yeah. Um, so far, she's no. Picked any man, oh my fucking god, let's get the fuck out of here, books. He's, yeah. Uh, I mean, she's sticked to one too, but. And the only thing she's ever really done is draw a line, right? Like when you were chatting to her in the corridor outside her bedroom, like she started to draw a line there as well, right? Where you were like, so how about this? And she's like, uh, excuse me? <laughs> so there's been no I'm a dragon and I will eat you statements, right? Like a certain Cerule, shall we say, um, which was the best negotiation reply, if you ask me. I don't know if Colin remembers that. I think it might have been just as um, yeah, Nico, you were. Some of it well. I wasn't actually present for. Remember, um, it, was it was the part in the inn, the wood inn, and uh, Castra said, "So, why would I agree to this?" And was that yeah? Was that not when you were away? Was it? Maybe. I feel like it was. I think I heard like, I heard about it after yeah. the fact. Maybe it was then, and she literally just says, because I can eat you. Because I'm a dragon. <laughs> so yeah, like, I mean, there's nothing, no bullshit posturing like that, right? And her I am a queen statement wasn't a mind your fucking place peasant statement. It was, it was uh, I am I'm a queen. <laughs> it was... Like, I have been trained in many things. Please don't underestimate me. Right? I am... Um, so the idea that it's not her vault doesn't matter to her because she knows it's hers because she could summon the door, right? So she has that direct connection. Maybe Zora doesn't understand that because maybe Zora's never had a vault within Abadar's bank, but yeah, she she gets that. Um, I don't know, like, how does this scene play out, I guess? Um. So, I have to say about the ambassador and Dorio contacts, blah blah blah, I was just saying, you also not find very many vests that will openly ambitious about mm, and she smirks that, at that I would kind of snigger at it and say, you have no idea what an ambitious vest is like 
I'm not one. As you said. She looks a bit surprised at that, like she'd like her head tilts very quickly at that as if eh, really? Um You're not an ambitious Vesk, yet you seek to kill a dragon. I have self ambition, but not to the state of most other Vesk most other Vesk wish to conquer. So you don't seek the crown? Is what you're saying. Um, and I think your hesitation, as soon as you hesitate at that, like she just laughs because you've. She has sussed you out, if that makes sense. Or at least as far as she's concerned, she thinks she knows you because of that. You know, because she just went, So, you're ambitious. And you went, No, I'm not ambitious. So, you don't want the crown. You went, Well. <laughs> uh, after she laughs, I'll just say, Perhaps. Uh, I wish they'd know if I'm worth the quick crown at the moment. She looks quite like shocked at that. Like, she looks like, kind of taking a micro, worth the crown. If you don't believe you deserve by divine right the crown, do you expect someone to hand it to you? <laughs> I would snigger at that. I was like, that's not how the vest work. No, I thought you'd take what you want. Uh, <laughs> I would not. I'm afraid it seems we have a very broken vesk here. Uh, she, just, she just kind of laughs at you again. It's but like, it's almost, like, you're not it's like playful, season. right? It is playful laughing. It's not like, ha ha ha, uh, you suck. It's a... Uh, yeah, yeah. You don't seem uh, like you seem to tell me what Vesk are, then tell me how you're like the Vesk, but not like the Vesk, but then you act like you're not like. She's a bit confused. <laughs> I would playful laugh back. I would say you're not the first to say that. So, if I am to understand your offer correctly, you are going to use your ambassadorial contacts within a system I am very out of date with. To um, rethrone me? Um, no, go ahead of yourself. I can do the thing I'll be. I'm in fact is, quite the opposite. I'm quite behind, it seems. Well, the thing I would be able to do is give you an introduction. To whom? This would be on you, but as you say, you're a queen. I'm sure you could handle some diplomats. And surely this would be an offer you make as a gesture of good faith and amicable future dealings with each other. Yes? Um... Go <laughs> um! That's for you to decide. Actually, I think it's quite directly for you to decide. Otherwise, I would be taking and, as you put it, getting ahead of myself. Perhaps... The only thing I care about right now is... getting that stuff in there and I'd point in the general direction of the bones. So, down. <laughs> yeah. Uh, weaponized. <laughs> the killing the dragon. Consider the offer payment for that and whatever happens after we can discuss later. Like I said, it's not, a, I would only be introducing you. The rest would be on you. I see. And like we said, things have changed. People may not recognize you as much as you hope. I don't need them to recognize me. They just have to obey. I would snigger to that, I suppose. It's a very <laughs> best thing to say, to be honest. I like it. And if you deliver me onto my lost flock, are you going to be my wolf? Um, I 
think I've had enough of being a lot of people's woes, I'm afraid. She just kind of smiles at that. She sits back down and she says, Are you going to formalize our future relationship? And she puts her hand out. <laughs> Raises uh, an ocular ridge in her uh, hair. <laughs> and she's just standing there with like her hand out. Or sitting there, sorry, with her hand out. Yeah, I would just look at her blankly. <laughs> <laughs> and then like her face kind of like falls into like disappointment and she pulls her hand back and she goes so we are not to have an agreement then uh, I don't recognize the custom again forgive me I am somewhat out of touch and she like highlights the word touch as much as she possibly could <laughs> oh eh uh... Poker. On. Like, tap it. Like. <laughs> Touch. <laughs> the things she's thinking, I'm glad you can't hear. Put it that way. <laughs> I hear of a warrior race full of incredibly like ambitious and aggressively consuming warrior like lizards. And I get the slow one. <laughs> I don't think like trying to adapt to other people's cultures is a thing that no, we do. No, the Vesk right? basically like... <laughs> absorb other people's cultures to the point where they go, "You're now Vesk, be Vesk." Um, hey, I'm trying. Okay, I'm then... only she knew. Yeah, but only that's the thing. Like, <laughs> keep in mind, she must be really frustrated trying to deal with you guys as well, because you are all variously different cultures and people, very specifically different people, and she's trying to be like, you speak. Techno babble that I have no idea about. You smell weird, and this one's cute and fuzzy. Wow. So, yeah. And uh, I didn't say which one smelled weird, Colin. Okay. Um, I know. <laughs> Colin. And, yeah, um, I just, I that was a different shit. elf queen. I'll have you know that said you smelled bad in a different game. <laughs> and then um, she, she says, Well, why don't we start making our own customs then? If mine are hard to follow, and yours are alien to me. Oh. How would you propose we formalize this mutually beneficial relationship? Over blood! What would you suggest? Ah. Oh. <laughs> Come on! Oh, my blood! She, she's <laughs> blood. Said, man. She has said, "How do you suggest uh, we formalize?" Fucking... And you cannot say back to her, "Would we?" Suggest? No, I don't. Yeah, <laughs> you can't do that. Come on, uh, Captain. What, what, what do you, wait, what do Vesk do <laughs> to formalize the agreement? I don't know. Shoot don't each know. other. Punch yeah, each other. Blah, 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 bite each other. Um, I had you. <laughs> Come on, no, no! Right, so she went to shake your hand. You dingied her. You can't do that. Wait, wait, wait. She wanted to. Do, that was what she wanted. She I put don't know. her hand out for you, and you just. I mean, it looked like she wanted to really fucking kiss her on or something. Right now, but maybe that's what, but that's maybe what you thought, right? And that's totally fine. <laughs> that's exactly what I actually thought personally so? as well. Like, I was like, what maybe she also did that. Is like, what you would do, right? <laughs> like she's not she's maybe not above fucking with you that way um, she is quite playful right but I think most of it's she's trying to make the most of a fucked up situation um because at any point you could all just turn on her she is fully aware that you broke into a vault that she considers her property and she's everyone's kind of taking each other on face value so it's kind of the card she's holding right <laughs> So I guess we need to load bomb now and we need to think, like, right, what the fuck would a Vesk cotton shake be? Well, we know what the Vesk salute is, where you just both punch each other, <laughs> like you punch, like, just in 
and then the, like the shoulders. Uh, right, actually, what I'll do right, is oh God, I'll go to like the queen. <laughs> I'll go to like double like karate chop on both sh shoulders. Right. What's going to happen but, is like, we have this oh, where no. it's green white to Michael <laughs> heading in with like Zig and a uh, you know. I don't know, Nyx has made the most beautiful fucking like spear of Longinus, you know, and then Lyco's like, look, I know exactly where we are, and I've got like a taxi coming to pick us up, and we're about to head home, and you get into the bedroom, and it's just uh, Zora covered in blood and everything, the drinker's <laughs> deadly, I just try to shake her hand. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I, I don't know, right? Wait, we'll go for like the double, like, the, just like the, the, the uh, so uh, you're gonna, very like, you're gonna punch like, her. On fudge the shoulder. on the shoulders, you know, like, you know what I mean? Like a, like, football, like, slap on the shoulders, you know, like, but, like, very aggressive. So, remember, the Vesk one is, like, like make your two fists, right, and then see, like, where you, um, where your shoulder obviously meets, like, your pec, as it were, um, like, in there, it's pretty much you just punch both of them at the same time, like, one each fist, boom, and, like, as a hoorah kind of thing, that's what the Vesk do. Um, and obviously the stronger it is, the more impressive the greeting, or the more like hearty the greeting, because it's a proper pissing contest, a right? Shape. A hard shape. I feel like a good a good fucking just oofed to the shoulders, you know? Both shoulders oofed. You know? Right, but so you, you, you like I, but I, fully I go to do it, I right. go to do it, and then hop, uh, I, I kind of stop myself, and I'm like uh, perhaps the, the hand is, is better. And she just kind of looks at you very curiously, like, what the hell were you about to do? And then she says, as opposed to what? Uh, Cla <laughs> Claws her eyes straight. out, what? I don't know, help! Like a glob on you in the shoulders. <laughs> um, wait, 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 we've got... say that! We typically, you know, punch each other. Well, we typically, uh... <laughs> Like, punch each other. <laughs> Perfect! She stands up and, like, takes, like, a, a oh, half step go, back. And she, says, go. and she says, So you deem me unworthy of this? Greeting? Um, I just feel like it's a bit, um... You can definitely tell there's a bit of full, Oh, God, how dare you? You know, like, oh, This is atrocious. How dare you not treat me like an equal? You know? Not, not quite. I just feel like it's a bit of a... Dated uh, ritual. Does Zora believe that though, or are you actually lying? Because I mean, no, I watched I you do that to Matva, right? <laughs> I feel there's a bit of pride in him, right? But at the same time, he's, he's a progressive Vesk, right? He's a... <laughs> yeah, it, when you say it, he's it, a it, progressive, it'd be different if she was a Vesk. He's <laughs> the progressive Vesk, is yeah, the statement the you wanted. Right? He's, yeah. So, what do you do? Uh, yeah, that's what I'll just say. I'll say it's not, not quite that insulting. It's just a rather dated ritual. So I'm not even worth the intention of an insult, just the result insult. Ah, uh, yeah. You said Stand. the greetings, right? Oh, oh, okay, I stand. Let's, let's kill her. She, um, like, goes to the side of her dress, and she actually tears it. Oh my god, she's, like, getting all right into this. And then she does that thing where her feet are slightly wider apart, because she's barefoot, she's been barefoot <laughs> the whole time. And then uh, she goes... Does that thing with her palms, where she, like, gestures for you to come at her. Greet me. Uh, would I roll a puncher? You roll the a reflex save. Uh, okay. It's a bit like slabby bars. Can it like, not be a reflex save? It yeah. needs to be a reflex save. You can't do anything else. It's not <laughs> against fear. <laughs> <laughs> um, you actually miss it as well. So, um, yeah, you... 
go in, and do you want to make your attack as well for your Vesk punching, you know, your greeting, to see how impressive it would have been? I don't even, right, add, so I can just roll natural weapons because it's the same roll. Yeah. yeah, you can roll that, that's fine. I think we did that last time anyway. Because all strength and all that, isn't it? So. Yeah, so... Go in, boom, that's decent goddamn damage as well, actually. And uh, you, before you realise it, end up seeing the room upside down because she seems to have moved in like a violet blur to the side, grabbed you by like, the cheap. wrist, she's swept cheap, under your leg. <laughs> With the same kicking motion, she's made you kick your tail up to throw you off balance. With her leg sweep, and she's pulled your wrist behind you, so you've went up over your end. It's fucking cheating. So she's judoed you, and then hey, cool. she stands there and she looks down, and she says, "It was nice to meet you." And then we'll end the session there. <laughs> fucking uh, eye roll! That uh, there's an uh, eye roll in that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting an eye roll in that fucking end. So um. Yeah, I uh, what would you like to call that? <laughs> Aggressive negotiations. <laughs> yeah, it's a good one. Yeah, yeah. That, that works. <laughs> I felt like um, I for some stupid reason because I'm a slow idiot. Aggressive. New goal. Let's Jones. There we go. Any other suggestions? I'm quite fond of that one myself. I'm quite fond of that. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to come up with anything better right now. Yeah. Max was aggressively negotiating with a pile of bones. Oh, I have a bone <laughs> Am to I? pick with you. <laughs> it's too long, really, but I like it. <laughs> the same tone. I, uh... Yeah, no, I think that's, that's, yeah. That's good. Um, anything, Alex, you think? Uh, no, I think that one. Yeah, aggressive negotiations. I'm happy with that, that one. Yeah, yeah. me too. I yep, guess I'm good. I, let's, look good. At, let's look at goals. So, <laughs> Liberate goals. Dem Rats hasn't really made any progress yet. That's fine. Or sense. No. No sense, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, we want to liberate the Asoki from... Whatever suppresses them. Whatever eels them. Um, <laughs> this is like Sir Digby Chicken Caesar. Who's your this nemesis? Some <laughs> bastard that's probably responsible. <laughs> uh, okay, Zora, your goal. I feel like it's maybe, maybe getting there. Um, possibly. You've yeah. kind of now invited her to the final yeah, round. Yeah, so she needs to like, kind of get us in the right. So well, she al- she did agree to get you to Hackathon, that's what you asked for. Um, yep. And she'll definitely will. She seems lonely, right? I mean, one hundred percent. Yes. If it, if you get anything from that, she is definitely lonely. And I think right. you only really get that from since you've been in the palace, right? Because obviously, with, when she was within the prison, maybe the full reality hadn't sunk in that she's that out of date until you guys turned up and went. By the way, it's been years. <laughs> It's been a while. Yeah. Where the fuck you been? Yeah, right. So, for that, yeah, maybe that is the case. She is lonely. She's obviously like enjoying the company. She's having fun with the company. Let's face it. Um. Yeah. Uh. Right. Also, I. I mean, depending on how well you know the aggressive negotiations go, she does have a giant fucking empty palace. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That nobody hmm. really knows about. Also true. So, that's a thing. That has a massive entrance hall that probably would fit a ship. Huge tracks of land. <laughs> so, just saying if you could somehow perfect that jumping into stuff drive. Wild well, space for it. Don't worry, I've got this covered. So, that's my retirement. <laughs> I've got a whole new ship to test that one, right, man? Let's go. <laughs> God, and then uh, yeah, because you you need to build some kind of like housing for the final hour because it doesn't land. Remember, 
So you could jump it in, oh, and you need to have like grabby things to hold onto yeah. it. Um, which seems like the least of your worries at that point. Jumping into a fucking cave system. Um, a rend discovery, maybe. Um, right. We'll leave your unless you're wanting to change your goal, or you're happy with it as is. Because I mean, I feel like you're you're going in strange diplomacy directions now as well. Uh, I'm I'm fine with it. I'm mm -hmm. fine with it. Yep, I'm fine with it. Right, I mean, I really should change it because it might not be very close. But <laughs> it depends up, what he's doing next time. Three right? sessions, man. So mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, and I mean, do you think you've got anything you would be able to resolve quicker? Nah, no, 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 Learn the Queen's good at martial arts. Oh my god, look at how good at martial arts she is. Go, please. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, then we've got... Next five. Yeah, I'm not really making much progress on that yet. But I, um, the thing is, I still like it because I think it's very telling. Obviously, I'm not saying keep it if you don't want to, but the reason I like it is because it kind of tells me a lot about Nix five as a person. Mm -hmm. Because you want to see her laid to rest, right? Yeah, and so I kind of get the feeling. Decent. Yeah, and his kind of focus on getting the weapons made is almost more of a for the team than for himself. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of contributing to whatever the party goal would be if it wasn't liberate them rats. Mm -hmm. Which I feel um, like is more important. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Because um, <laughs> we don't even know what's ailed them. So. Also, I imagine Nyx is kind of. Uh, going down smashing up the skeleton is almost a take his mind off everything else that's going on. Yeah, because there must be it's a sense of mechanical. futility. Yeah, because there's a sense of futility. You can't quite do what you think would put you to rest regarding mm. SK. You're, you've not got Alice, who's the person you usually go to to chat to this stuff, right? Yeah. Because um, she's the one that's been on some of the weirder journeys with you recently um, into existentialism and the white space. And you don't have your ship. So, yeah, it is what a... What my usual copy mechanisms are. Yeah, it's like, what will I do? I'll, I'll go break <laughs> something to build something. That sounds good. Yep. It makes sense, yeah, I like it. Something um, practical. Yeah, and same question to you. Do you think you have anything you'll resolve quicker than that? Uh, nothing that I think would constitute a next goal, yeah. to be honest. I like it. Cool. Yeah. I like it. I know we spent a long time discussing your goal, so I feel like <laughs> that's on point. <laughs> Yeah, um, I feel like uh, this is one we can stick with for the time being. Not yet, I think that's going to be good. Um, if anything, you pretty much did the we know where we kind of are now goal, right? You've already kind of dealt with that part of the you're in a cave with an out-of-date queen. You kind of now know... <laughs> no, she's gone off. Right. But like Lyco's job really in this session, or what he achieved I should say in this session was like, we're on Castreval, I know this information, triangulate that, probably this island. Cool. We've got some idea say, yeah. of where we are. Mm. Which is good. Because it means that if you uh, had to then kill Give her and move one. away, you've probably <laughs> got know. A, Yeah. Um, but if the things that walk the land walk the land, what the fuck swims in the seas of the Castrovel, right? So, maybe not the safest of journeys unless you fashion some kind of boat. Um, out of like a, one of the Queen's wardrobes. Now, Zig. Hello! Your goal. How would My you goal! Because I feel like you're trying to prove your worth to the egg currently. I think this is a good. It's a good. No, I think. Um, yeah, no, he's trying to prove it. I like that. Egg. It was good to kind of. Like, um, let's check in on Zig with Zig. Yes. Conversation he was um, I think. I think kind of the. <laughs> Um, the the captain giving him that sort of good job, kid. Woohoo! And then off off he goes. <laughs> um, did give him a great opportunity to just go away. But Is I that like all that I am because, to these people? Yeah, like, and it's it, a good it way of really going... gets him in that mindset. Yeah, and I think it's a good starting platform for Zig to really be like, right, cool, I can fully engage with this goal because what do I need to do to these people or for these people for them to stop treating me as the kid? Right. Yeah, oh. and it's not a radiate people because we tried that. Yeah, we definitely tried that. <laughs> it didn't work. So what? what what's the second item on the list, right? We tried radiating more people. Or ah, maybe it wasn't people. enough. That's what it was. <laughs> I mean, 
if you want to press like less at the time or... but more overall that's what we need to go for <laughs> like a consistent you know production line of irradiation um yeah it's, it's interesting because i don't even know the answer to that particular like journey for zig either like i don't know what you think zig would consider worthy in the eyes of the crew because a lot of that would depend on what you do and how the players of these characters react, right? Uh huh. Which yeah. is super interesting. Um, so yeah. Um, and like I think I think a lot of it, like you know, a lot of the oh yeah, good job was actually really sincere from mm -hmm. from everyone, you know. But it's like. But then obviously the the part Zig has is I know that I c I have a use because people can find a use for things, but they see me as a kid, not as mm -hmm. a crew member. Yes, which I think is yeah, that's the distinction. I really and I think make. I think you know I know te technically like literally it's because I wasn't on the session, but like the whole like oh go wait go wait with the egg, mm -hmm. <laughs> well we go off and sort yeah. this. But it does help like fuel that kind of gold. Is yeah, that right? so and it's then, kind of it's kind of it's kind of um, first of all as well like, the, like who gave you the most validation as another person as well that isn't Lyco kind of talking to you man to man. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of stepped back from that a bit recently. Is Alice? always treated you like you were just another thing. Yes. Like, like she treated everyone, right? She didn't really have um, any kind of... Uh... Which we haven't had much Alice with us for a while. To be fair, I felt like I was RPing a lot of Alice a lot of the time and I wanted to step back from that, so I left her yeah, out sure. of the vault and it was a very... Like, I'm still happy with that decision. I miss her. Oh, yeah, for sure. But, my God, I'm okay having a break from being Alice. And mostly because I really like the drug queen. She's awesome. And not... Drug absolutely awesome. detached from normality like Alice <laughs> mm. oh dear yeah um. although I miss Ivan Ivan was fun <laughs> but yeah so I miss Ivan you happy to carry on with your goal as is I am happy to carry on with my goal I think it's gonna oh mm -hmm. wow good, um, good. progress I, well yeah that's goals were done it's that got was a good foundation yeah no, I think so as well um, right as for round up chat we'll leave Nico to last so we can all bully him and we'll start with Colin bully <laughs> I would never bully anyone I'm a very nice guy people, I never people bully more that, many people nice. uh, and moreover nice and good um, no I, I was uh, I was quite pleased with getting to do a bit of um, a bit of a more whimsical like I, I, I like leaning into the idea of my character having a bit of fun because it's a simple thing, but sometimes things just work out after a lot of things not working out. And Can it's... I actually add something? Because I was going to, and I totally forgot, right? Sure. I want to add something, and forgive me for any that stopped listening now, but fuck you for stop listening. Um, the last shot after, a, I guess, Zora being floored would be we pan back <laughs> to Lyco in the tree. Maybe you've, like shot your browser down, you've jumped out the tree and you're about to head back inside to maybe say to people, by the way, I think I know where we are just as you're about to head in there's a beep on your comm pad oh. and it's uh, like the equivalent of space email okay. and you, you, I assume you open it and go to read it I would do, yeah I imagine you didn't, it's like, oh, fuck you then um, so you open the message and it says um it's like a reply to all of, like, see the comments you put on all the different boards? So <laughs> they're all collated, and there's lines that come out into one arrow, and it points down into the reply as if they've all been selected, and reply to all of these with this one message. <laughs> Tell me more, dot dot dot, and it's signed CC. And that is the shot I want to end on. Okay! <laughs> and I only remembered now, because I was too busy throwing Zora on the ground. Yes. As per usual. Yeah, sorry. sorry. It's actually, they're trying to send you kisses, but they kept they hit the C by accident. It was... Happens all the time. Yeah. Who do I know that's a CC? Or who do you know that would send you kisses? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> What's Shakos's first name? <laughs> <laughs> Chavez Shakos. No, yeah. it's not. I actually have no idea what Shakos's first name is. We definitely named her, I think, didn't we? I think we did, yeah. Um, we'll have to 
I can't remember that, but anybody that's managed to still listen, thank you so much, and go find out what her name was for us. Um, okay, yeah. well, anyway, that's 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 mm-hmm. got like a bit intrigued. Uh, mm. I have some thoughts on how you'll respond to that. Um, <laughs> we shall save them for next time. Of course, yeah. And uh, yeah, for this session, it was good fun. It was good fun getting to be a bit more whimsical. I enjoyed, like, I enjoyed getting to, you know, do stuff that he doesn't necessarily do. Not because he wouldn't, because he, he's he's not joyless by any means. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we're usually in relatively grim or desperate or whatever dire situations. Yeah, it's never really the ideal of time to just sort of sit and browse or whatever. And I think, I think one of the things that I liked most was actually the fact that he just went, <laughs> grabbed secondly, <laughs> like he made a point of like, look, I am acknowledging you. Be acknowledged. Stop, stop fucking about. And accept your acknowledgement. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and um, and that that was fun because it's really an extremely patronising way to do what he was, which is exactly what he was trying to avoid. But he was a bit giddy with the swords uh-huh. in his mind. <laughs> he's, he's thinking of dragon bullets mm-hmm. and. Uh, <laughs> he's quite, you know, he he's he's on a bit of a high. Things are things are looking up, and he's got an idea. <laughs> yeah, because like oh, definitely is... within his head, he's got like a we have something we can use against him. Yeah, exactly, right? we've got some. <laughs> We're somewhere. This is like the first positive step we've really taken in ages. Um, you had that so, weird yeah. travel step where you managed to get an egg for some reason. Yeah, and who knows if that's a good thing? I, <laughs> I'm not convinced. Um, uh, what else? Yeah, obviously it was it was great watching the captain and Nico struggle <laughs> <laughs> terribly. <laughs> oh my god! Um, struggle. It was oh man, oh man! It was like it was like one of those shows that I can't watch because I feel bad for the, the second hand embarrassment shows. Yeah. Yes, I yeah. get very bad second hand embarrassment from a lot. Yeah, of it's stuff. the office. We agreed he was Michael Scott. Right. Yes. Yeah. Oh, um. And I. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, man! <laughs> what the fuck were you thinking? <laughs> what? Oh, just like, how can I put a fear in my mouth this day? <laughs> oh man, that was great. I. <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it was stressful as well, though. <laughs> Is he gonna get himself killed? Is he gonna kill her? Can he do that? Oh God. Um. I spoke plainly. Yeah, <laughs> she almost said that. Speak plainly. That's what I thought oh, she was going to say, and I was going to go, "Oh, uh, I <laughs> almost said that," and I had to um, change what she was saying. Uh, Pulls off her mask. She's him and stabs him. I think it was a shame, actually, in in a sense, because we we didn't get as much Nexus session. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's probably like the most important job out of everyone, but yeah. Oh yeah, you were, you've been put to good work, no doubt about it, and uh, and ever the productive one. Because uh, we all fucked off and left him alone. Yeah, I was doing He's a quiet work. boy when he's alone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a productive um, quiet boy. It's very important. The thing is, alone. though, it's the part where you go. I've managed to turn all these bones into a bomb. Yep. <laughs> That's what <laughs> happens yeah, when you're it. left alone. A dragon fang bomb. Mm. So, yeah. So good. I also wanted to leave a little uh, a little thing in there for you know if anyone's got this far, congratulations are going to get a little a little explanation of something that I was doing. Um, I wanted to let li- put the su- shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to put the suggestion in there that Lyco might do things like this regularly. Like he might just go, I have some downtime. I have an idea. I'll go out and I'll just like throw it on a mental place on the internet and see see what people say or like I want people to think this. Yeah, I'll just you're the Ken M of Starfinder. <laughs> Fashion for oh, and, and I thought like that that feels very cynically. It feels very him. Mm-hmm. I, I I I thought that it's I just because I like the sort of the the way it. it the way it contrasts him with someone who he does have quite a lot in common with in in other ways, um, Nix. Mm-hmm. Whereas Nix will go looking for ideas. <laughs> like he was going like, how can I use these lunatics? Um, 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just thought that was, I thought that was good fun. Uh, and also, I think Zeg, you were you were in, in the in the looking at the looking at the the, the conspiracy Craig machine thing. You were involved in that folly. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, next, Zig and now Lyco heavily invested in the forum boards. Yep. Oh, oh yeah, I, I I just love it. I just I I like taking things that the characters do that are similar and putting like a little twist on them like mm-hmm. as paranoid like i like the idea of him being paranoid in a more down-to-earth way like he doesn't really have much interest in grand conspiracies because he sort of tends to think conspiracies are usually out in the open like, like the whole vesk thing like they're not really bothering that much to hide the fact that they've basically taken over a packed world mm-hmm. he kind of just came in and did it <laughs> I like the idea of Nick's going on to the forum later and correcting your deliberate errors. (laughs) 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 Yeah, Yeah. just follow up comments with the accuracy he'll fixed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) Um, So yeah, that was it. Was good fun. It's it's something that like it draws like the the similarities and differences out. Yeah, I think we missed like the main detail as well. So what was your forum name? (laughs) <laughs> oh, I, I oh, handle anonymous. Yeah. <laughs> as long as you're not posting under Nix's. It would be oh, um, it's it's Craig. No, it would be it's dead it. sexy boy or something, wouldn't it? With the emphasis on dead. No. Because of uh, <laughs> the fact that he's a barai. Um, <laughs> totally no, no, living boy. Living the, the dream. <laughs> oh yeah. dear. Steward for life, lol. I mean, <laughs> I th- I think I think I think he'd probably be mostly go anonymous because. I suspect, like, the one of the reasons that people would like these websites if they were sort of conspiratorially mended was the idea of, you know, I, I'm anonymous. Nobody knows who I am here. Um, like, you know, the, the man can't watch me. Oh, man, but Nobody you do a flashback episode, Lyco, where it's you showing Sindiel during that time you worked for Sindiel, the forums. <laughs> it's like, this yeah, is how no, you I- post... On a forum. Oh so god, like, what is Sindale's post thing? Do you Sindale's think like, So, if you alive. have access to all of these crazy people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they follow your every word. <laughs> Not quite. Don't, I don't think he has a large online presence. I think he mostly dips in and out of websites. I um, to have an anonymous large online presence. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's uh, after a while, it becomes pseudonymous. I, you can only I, th- be I think anonymous so. in this system, like this game world would be called Gap. So mm-hmm. yeah. Oh dear. It'd be like Gapper ninety nine or some shit, wouldn't it? Um, for your handle. Oh dear. I am. Um, no, it was good. It was nice to see a different side of Nix. Uh, sorry, not Nix. Um, Lyco again uh, for exactly what you mentioned. It's good to see these other facets of characters, even this far in, mm. when you're like, we don't really get time to see this angle of this person, but this is clearly what they did during the scenes that weren't focused on you. You were clearly Yeah, exactly. You can kind of go back and fill it in later. Yeah, like when you were off cleaning your guns, as soon as those were all like readied up and hidden back in their places, you probably like kicked back in your bunk, flicking through your, your forums, right? Messing with some people. Yeah, yeah I think that's perfect. Um, next, do you want to go next? Uh, yeah, obviously very light for me this session, which uh, was actually appreciated. I think my brain was struggling with full RP today. It's okay, it was still nice uh, to have you present, though. I do appreciate that. Yeah, um, and I actually was delving into some books in the background, so that was very... <laughs> char- character operations manual. <laughs> I appreciate the uh, assistance as well. Yes. With the task yes. I asked for. That was, the plotting. Yes, um, appreciate uh, it. Uh, yeah, and pulled out some interesting... Lots of fun new feats and archetypes and things in the new book. So Excellent. I do recommend... Uh, but no, I actually, I think my highlight was actually the uh, little uh, conversation between Lyco and Zig uh, with that dropping of Lyco's backstory. Um, yeah, like And the it. way it, it seemed to unnerve Zig somewhat, uh, not knowing what to do with that. <laughs> was, yeah. Yeah. And that's it's, the thing, uh, I like that about, like, as I mentioned just moments ago, the how you can learn something new about the character despite thinking, well, I know how this character is, right? 
Mm-hmm. And then obviously Lyco goes, So this happened to me. <laughs> and Zig's just like, Oh God. <laughs> yeah. He's not used to it being. <laughs> yeah. I imagine it's kind of. He's almost having that. Yeah, he doesn't want to be shooting like a kid, but now all of a sudden you've got Lyco opening up and you've got Nick's changing and you've got. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, the captain throwing us into all sorts of political shenanigans. The captain's just <laughs> like a probably... yes man. I think we've realised yeah. this. Hey, <laughs> you will agree we're to We're no monarchists! <laughs> I just think I said no to multiple things. No. Uh, no. Pretty much. Just the rewards for the things you've agreed to do. <laughs> <laughs> I basically said I would... So here, so here like, here's your Aunt Sunday saying she's a drow queen. Like, have fun with her. Uh, yeah, but no. Also, I, I did enjoy the captain's uh, clear... Uh, experience as a diplomat coming through. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Zora meets with any dignitary. I want this. I will meet you when you have signed the paper. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like the idea that he's still the best, mm-hmm. best diplomat. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Most well. They did not replace their losses when uh, <laughs> Zora retired. They mostly just went, okay. <laughs> they didn't notice the office was empty. No. The same amount of paperwork was filed, so... <laughs> yep. Yep. Um, but no, I think that covers it. Oh, good. Hey, uh, Zig? Yeah, it was really good. I loved... I, I, <laughs> I did love him by Michael just walking up to him in the court and, and the stairwell, like, right, here we go. <laughs> it's <laughs> time. Like, I, I, um, I, I'm glad people enjoyed my verbal diarrhea in character. It was it was fantastic, and I was like, "Oh man, is this is this what is this what it's like to be on the receiving end of?" <laughs> um, it's this fact um, as well. It just starts like going. Oh, I guess I started talking so, and then this happened, and then you think this is how things play out, and it doesn't play out that way. And at some point, like Zig stopped existing for Lyco, and it was just like kind of like going. This actually feels kind of good. I'll keep talking. And then it yeah. gets to the point where he's stopping. He goes, "Okay, see you later, kid." <laughs> and um, I, I, I really like that. Oh, jeez, whoops! Oh man, Hello. Sorry, sorry, that was my I fault. Really like that. <laughs> Whew. So much you eat um, to make. Nom nom nom. Uh, oh shit! I forgot what I was going to say. Oh yeah, no, I, I like that because the, the whole like, oh no, um, Sig doesn't want to be treated like a kid, but as soon as it's like, is you know, oh, I'm gonna go and mope now because everyone thinks I'm a kid. And then, like, I was talking to him about real stuff, and he's just like, "He doesn't uh, really know how to process it, right?" Yeah, and it's like, <laughs> "Oh, um, maybe, maybe I am and, a kid because like, oh, had a whole life that ended, <laughs> and then he got yeah. a second life. That's but weirder. not in the bad website way. Yeah, so." If Second Life wishes to sponsor us, uh, go ahead. Uh, yeah. Uh, I also, I'm also loving that um, Zig's sort of new level of torment isn't some otherworldly, horrendous, miserable, depressing monster beast that's psychologically damaging him. It's genuinely just his own self. And isn't that <laughs> his, the same thing? Fo- <laughs> Or is that too real? Too real. Okay. Too real. Um, yeah, I think... I can't wait for a Zig 3.0, I think it will be at that point, where you can come to terms with... Like Zig, Zig can come to terms with himself, right? And I think mm-hmm. it's not so much finding your place in the crew, but kind of telling the crew, this is my place, this is who Zig is, and this is who I want to be. So, please get used to that. Now, I'm no longer that kid that scurries around underneath the the bulkheads of the ship. I am Zig, the mystical space rat. Yes. <laughs> yeah, right? Like, I think that, for me, is what I'm really looking forward to, which is why I'm, like, really happy you're continuing with that goal progress, because mm-hmm. Zig 3.0 for me, because Zig, like, 1.0 was, oh god, the universe is terrifying and everything I loved is in jeopardy. Zig 2.0 is more of the same but with more fire. And then Zig 3.0 is kind of an exciting proper growth. It's like the adult Zig, 
right? And I'm kind of kind of excited to see what that is because young zig, damage zig, and then adult zig. It's gonna be good. Zig, I am become zigabyte yeah. zig. Yes. Um, which I'm looking forward to. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Agreed. I think that's zig 4.0 though. I am become zigabyte destroyer yeah. of systems. Um, yeah. That was good. Mm. Um, I obviously cap the captain's just. <laughs> yeah. Why do you just let the captain negotiate? Like. I don't know. He's supposed to be good at it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, he's done. He's okay, right? He's all still alive, right? So, and you can't blame Lyco's condition on the captain because that happened before he met the captain. Yeah. So, so that's that's pre existing. Yeah. Which means I don't get covered for it. No. Uh, <laughs> I like the idea that you still get like an email it's appointment just... reminder for his NASMA kick lick though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like it's been so many days overdue for your appointment. <laughs> um but yeah, the last but not least, unless Sig has anything else he wants to add. Um No, I don't think so. Uh well obviously I am... Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens with the dragon, but mm. um, yeah, I think we all want a dragon. I want, I want a piece of. I want a piece happen. of it. Ah oh, man, you should totally get a piece of that. That'd be awesome. <laughs> so, moving with Lauren, Zora. That's okay, fun. Oh, <laughs> 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 it's still very sincere. Is that just a session title? Oh, okay, fun. Okay, <laughs> oh. Fantastic. Uh, at least you felt something, okay? At <laughs> least you felt something. Um, yeah, I mean, it was, it was enjoyable. It was now, enjoyable. Like, as much as it might have seemed... Lady, lady woman. Yeah, like the Queen. Right? That person who you've lady made multiple woman. arrangements with but never she even asked her her name. name. You never asked yeah. her her name? I think I have. Like, two or three times, actually. Nope, never once directly asked her her name. You have said you don't know her name. Well, I mean... <laughs> She's not going to lean and go, Oh, by the way, my name is uh, Beth. Just so you know. I mean, her name isn't Beth. I thought I asked her. Nope. The fact that you don't know her name means you just haven't asked her. Nope. Uh, but maybe next session. <laughs> oh, maybe. How many sessions has she been in there? Right, so I think one, two, three, four. Four so far. So she's doing well at not having needed to be addressed by a name because she's the queen. So, you know, she's got that going. Clarity, I, I don't care what her name is. I figured that, yeah. Yeah. I got a feeling <laughs> that Nyx and her aren't exactly going to be close. Um, <laughs> not, not yet, anyway. But I get they, they've had moments, but yeah. yeah. I mean, well, the ironic thing is, as well, you probably know her name. If only there was a way to access past lives. <laughs> hmm. Right. It's like Literally a, impossible. Fucking, like a like a read-only fucking reincarnation <laughs> dot exe. Um, but yeah, I yeah. Zora, sorry. Carry on. Um, I did enjoy uh, like it was like past bomb for a wee bit. That was pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> and I enjoyed it's like it's just try to come to terms with, with, with who he is. He's, he's becoming a teenager slash small adult. Small adult? Yeah, that's just that's fine. Yeah, yeah. It's, a young it's adult. lovely. A young adult. It's lovely. <laughs> Your space rat growing up. <laughs> <laughs> the um. Mall growled up. Yeah, I think that's that's reasonable. I think that that is reasonable. What I was going to add into your thing before I get distracted by talking about the queen's name was everything you've done so far, though, as captain has generated progress. Right, you have moved forward as the captain. So, while they might not be the smoothest or most sensible negotiations, they've always led you somewhere, right? 
I did. I don't. I did. I don't even feel like this was a negotiation. Really, I feel like this was more like a uh, hazing. It was more like a yeah. <laughs> right. Oh. <laughs> uh, I mean, somebody's going to take a teacher of the house truth at some point, right? I mean, it's not a queen anymore. <laughs> yeah. Good luck selling on that. I look forward to that conversation there. Eh? Next time, I've oh, been trying to tell Elizabeth for years. Through, through, tight. Like, I don't myself a queen. Yeah, I'm grateful to be a queen. I just can't wait for the lineup shot where, like, the fucking final hour is just gonna be full with fucking random NPCs. <laughs> it's gonna be good. It's gonna be really good. Uh, anything else you'd like to add? Yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah. Um. Well. Thank you, everyone, for playing. It was an absolute fucking nonsense session, as usual, and I love it. Um, Yay! Yay. I'm really tired. Yeah, Yeah, I'm tired. (laughs) So I went. Uh, It was good, but draining. We did good. Uh, Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye, Goodbye, Dad!